Hope you're Anthony. Taxes. Yeah. yeah. I'm always going off my nose. You know what? We got a very busy show today, but uh, this is the moment right here, I'm telling you. Louis C.K. in studio. It's been, I don't even know how long. We were at the other building. That's right. The last time I was at the other building. So it's got to be at least four months. Louis Mm C.K. is playing Caroline's. Uh, You're starting tonight, Lou? Yeah, it's all sold out until Sunday, I think. Oh, it is? Oh, shit. Yeah, Sunday night, there's still tickets. Then go home. Yeah, right? (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm not here to plug. I don't care about That proves that Louis likes our show because he doesn't even have to I got nothing to plug. Only Sunday Caroline's shows. Uh, great yeah, but that's going to sell out, too. I mean, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> they should just keep adding shows. Well, then i got to do them. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it would be one thing if it was just problem. like, just come and pay money. The tickets are what they're after. It's right. not the show. You know what? I'm thinking <laughs> you could squeeze a third show in, though. Sure. I've I seen could. that before at Caroline's. It's not fun for you guys, but. No, I won't do it. you got a midnight show where everyone's been drinking for four straight hours. and you're Yeah, just, exactly. And you're trying to do your thing. I don't think I have an upside to tickets this time. I think I'm getting a flat amount of money awesome, for Caroline's. So, so actually, don't even say that okay. I'm playing it. All right, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. You've been in the country? Yeah, up, upstate. And and uh, and he was telling Ant and I that he listens all the time because he's bored in the country. Always. Ooh. And he heard you yelling Every and morning. screaming the other day. Yeah, I'm always screaming about taxes. And there's, stuff like uh, but there's still the thing that's care. been haunting me. I Just every day I think about it now, and it makes me really <laughs> sick. When you had uh, Bobo in here, was that his name? <laughs> oh, God. And damn. you had, uh, uh, what's his name, Smell His Cock? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, uh, we're, E-Rock, on, E-Rock, we're okay. E-Rock had to smell yeah, his yeah. dick. E-Rock. Yeah. Iraq had to smell his dick, but the thing that upset me was you saying, telling him to t- to sh- ruffle up his pubic hair to oh, release yeah, yeah. to release the smell. <laughs> it's like a scratch and sniff. You got to kind of like if you tussle, you're telling him to tussle, tussle the pubic. Tussle your pubes so the smell is released. And every time I, I think about that and I gag, like a, a few times a day, for some reason, it's like a song stuck in my head. That is disgusting. There's like a moment I was dropping off my kids and I'm walking away from their, the little camp, this little idyllic camp they have. Yeah. Where there's literally a donkey in the middle of the camp. Aww. And uh, and I remember, it just pops in my head, tussle your pubic hair so the cock smell gets worse. <laughs> and I imagine that really clearly, and I got fucking, I just got so sick. That is really disgusting. <laughs> he, and E-Rock, Just the idea that, so first of all, you're making a guy smell some retarded guy's cock. But the idea that you had this... Idea. Notion of wait a minute, wait a minute. This we can make this work. It's not yeah, bad this is enough. enough. Like you're like it's like a technician for yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> to get the full potency of the cock smell of the dirty it, dick smell, you gotta just no. you gotta yeah, yeah. ruffle you, the hair. Did you hear the follow up show? The fo- the following Friday he came oh, back. So I, I I heard something. Uh, Lou. I'm trying these to remember guys, what happened after the show. These guys discovered because they're just bored and sick fucks. That Bobo gets boners really easily. All right, you had his dick out, and he was standing here getting hard, yeah. hard and soft. And you though, guys were, on what we're you guys were going about. from ba- yes, I was listening to that. Okay. You're going from baseball yeah. to to uh, that girl that he's in love with. You know, what's weird Back is that there forth. was a guy in my hometown. He might still be there, and we called him Florida Steve. <laughs> Why did you call? Him that was his. He, he was a guy, a little kind of oldish man, that walked around town just walked around and kids would go up to him and he'd go how you doing he just walk up to you, hey hot day huh it's hot it was a routine it was, was like an Abin Costello retarded in any way yeah or? i think he was sort of retarded yeah. hot day right hot day and you go yeah it's hot and he goes oh, hotter in florida isn't it <laughs> yeah it's pretty hot in florida he he would guide you to what he would, what's it like what's it like down in florida Ah, uh, it's nice. The girls down there. What are the girls like down there? Oh shit! Well, they got they got nice girls in Florida. They got big tits. You go, yeah, they got big tits, Steve. And then he'd put his hand in his pocket and he'd just start jacking off right in front of you. Big bottoms, big. And it was just a routine. It was like Abbott and Holy Costello. Shit. And then at one point you'd go, hey, what are you what are you doing down there in your pants? And you go, get out of here! I'll, I'll cut you to ribbons. I'll, you won't say that when the bullets fly. And he'd start he'd start threatening you and then you'd walk away. <laughs> I, I think every town's got one. Of, I think uh, I'm this guy think called Crazy Crazy John, yeah. and he, he used to be behind um, uh, John's Bargain Store. Mm. I don't know if his name was John, but right. we just called him Crazy John because he was behind, he was John's, behind bargain. John's Bargain <laughs> Store, and, and he had a shopping cart with a big it's like uh, naming a stray dog. Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, we we'll name him after the Bargain Store. Jesus. I know, and. It, and he would uh, collect plastic bags, mm-hmm. and he'd come up to you and just go, plastic bag? 
Plastic bag? <laughs> plastic bag? And you're like, I haven't seen any plastic bags, John. Okay. And then you go off to the dumpster. And he had one of those giant, you know those big sunflower, plastic sunflowers people put in their lawns that spin yeah, around in the wind? Sure. He had that on his uh, shopping cart. Mm-hmm. And he'd push it around looking for plastic, plastic bags. bags. Crazy, remember, crazy John. Remember Eddie, Eddie at uh, WNEW? Oh, yeah, yeah, another. Eddie, another Eddie worked at NEW when we were over there, and his whole job was to empty the garbage mm-hmm. from offices. Yeah. Mm. And he loved tits. Yeah. Where he would uncomfortably stare at tits. Oh, God. Yeah, he had no switch where it's like, you know, you shouldn't do that. You know, you take a clip. Because you go, I like that girl. She was pretty cute. I was, yeah. just like, I like that. And meanwhile, he's just looking at her tits. <laughs> And the fucking girls I, all creeped out. I brought him to the – somehow they, the guys talked me into taking him out for lunch. So I took him to the Brooklyn Diner, and the waitress had a nice day. Oh, no. It was so awkward. Jesus. We could barely eat lunch because Eddie just had a stare at tits Jesus. the entire time. Uh, Horniness plus retardation is a bad, yeah, yeah. bad combination. Bad. Uh, There's what, no switch. They no. just like – yeah. What do you got in it? Brooke Hogan? I was wondering if Brooke Hogan, um, what she sounds like acoustically. Or is she lip syncing? No, she's probably. What can we do? What can do you pot it up? Very, this very one, interesting. This, one. Her, this name of the song is Hey Yo. That's I'm okay. But I had to let you know. Just in case it didn't show. Oh, some say love and friends, they don't mix, but I hate the way that I feel. Boo! Boo! <laughs> 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 Know you and me, it seems weird, but... Who is that faggot? <laughs> Who is that Jerry curled faggot who's playing with her? He's got shiny jeans. What a fruit. No, I'm not. Oh, God, what is with him? No, you're not. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Yeah, I will if I hear this anymore. Yeah, this is really bad. I promise to show you... I love it, can we? He could Ew. go over. Uh, <laughs> oh. How does he go over anyone's house and, and sit in their, on their couch? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, How's he a person? Day. Fucking wet all over there. All right. I'm sorry I even brought it up. That's one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. That's really, bad, huh? really bad. That's <laughs> horrible. Oh, boy. I'd rather listen to my mom beg for mercy while somebody <laughs> kills her. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, and people are also reminding us that Eddie also was in charge of the mail and, and getting it all wrong. Oh, no, he used to get it all wrong, yeah. Hey, this, reason, wait, this, that guy's part. wearing like a glovey what? thing. What, a Michael Jackson glove? No, oh. it's worse. Look on his left hand, on his guitar hand. Oh, it's, yeah, like it's like a, a hand brace, but it's sparkly. It's like when you get a sprained wrist, yeah, yeah. but it's sparkly. No, that oh, wasn't good. Stop. You can't stop the song for your shit note that didn't work. It's your crap. It- He's just making it up now. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Look at his hand. Look at his I hand. Yeah. So He's got sparkly wrist so the new brace album on. Is out oh. Right now in the stores. Oh, you yeah. ugly what whore. Fuck you. You yeah, fucking he's retard. <laughs> he's very talented. He's really, really talented. No, he's not. Neither are you, you um, fucking friends. stupid cunt. God damn it. When do you hit the road, Colby? Fucking boring, fucking stupid, ugly, common. And fucking two-bit stripper. Stuff, right? yeah. just, just she comes over and says, do you so want a private guy. dance? And I go, no. <laughs> no. I go, no, I'm waiting for somebody <laughs> interesting <laughs> looking. Fucking dime a dozen blonde <laughs> fucking Holy shit. father famous for being a buffoon <laughs> idiot. <laughs> fucking. She, she even knows the guy isn't talented because she had to go, yeah, he's really talented. Yeah, he's really yeah he's exactly. Talented. Oh, really? That's what I just heard was good? Oh, thanks. Yeah. You know the shit you just heard? <laughs> That's like everybody that has a boyfriend where they're like, oh, yeah, no, he's really great. Really? Yeah, he's great. That, I, it's funny because I just heard him. Oh, thanks for telling me because it sounded like shit. <laughs> it, wasn't, it sounded like it wasn't good. Oh, you no, he's you're really fucking great, oh. funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love him. No, I listened to her uh, uh, on this show. She yeah. was on, I, and I was like, "Shut!" She I fucking she ruined my morning. <laughs> I she? hate her. Why? Yeah, because my morning, I dropped my kids off in this fucking crazy camp, 
And then I listen to you guys on my way back. I got, I got nothing else to do. I look at the same shit strip of fucking country road every morning, and I listen to you guys. And it was her. And there's yeah, and... trying to be funny and fucking. We had our arm wrestle though. I didn't get that far. I, it's the first time I've switched. <laughs> oh, I switched the sometimes. fucking station. That's not good here. You gotta. Well, she arm take, keep that in mind. Itself. She makes people like me turn your show off. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know for next time. We go, hey, Brooke, would you arm wrestle Robert yeah. Kelly? And she goes, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that kind of insulting to ask a girl to arm wrestle a guy? Why? Why do you mean? Like... Because she's a bruiser. Oh, because she's got big, fat arms. I see what That's you mean. Why else would I say, would you arm wrestle Robert see, yeah. Kelly? Because he's a You're weak not, slob with, uh, little, he's got little, uh, you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. <laughs> what is she doing there in that she's, picture? She's <clears throat> giving a piggyback ride. Looks like ride. she's taking a shit. I don't know. I hate that people like her exist. I mean, it's the worst. It's just so many generations down from mattering. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Hulk Hogan even shouldn't matter. He's yeah. a joke. He's a fringe celebrity. And then Hulk. But now he's a family. fucking mainstream right down. Like he's going to get like the he's going to be at the Kennedy honors with the president someday. Yeah. Because yeah. he just for being fucking stupid spectacle in front of other people <laughs> and his fucking daughter, his his grown up cum gets to be on TV and, and play a song with her faggot boyfriend with sparkly jeans. And everybody's got to act like it's good. It's sparkly wrist brace. <laughs> and she comes to this building, and you guys have her. Everybody has to have her on and act like. And so then, what happened with your dad? Who gives a sh shit? He's, he's making us look bad. <laughs> Louis, Fuck her. Louis no, Louis you have to do it. How do you not do it? If I had this no. look, if I had this show, I would. I'd go. Can uh, we get her, what? please? Louis and is, I'd be uh, nice to her. A dose of you're, reality. You're giving a yeah, a little taste. There's no, no problem there. That's why we do like you. <laughs> Louis <laughs> is a dose of reality, man. Yep. He's right. He's right. The fuck what we think. You guys, we get three hours with Bobo is worth a lot more. It's well, true. Yeah, and don't yeah. go to the message board because they don't like Bobo either. <laughs> they well, don't. well I'm, look, I'm in a minority. I, I love Bobo, but you yeah. go to the message I'm in the boards, Bobo camp. they can't take They're him. They're like enough with Bobo. They're listening. But they listen. They listen. Yeah, I'm, I assume. Did anybody write and say she's awesome, keep her on, and no, have one, her on again? One person. Well, there you go. <laughs> one there you go. Did. All those, all that response for Bobo, one response for her. Yeah. yeah. All yeah, his we, response was negative and hers was positive. Yeah. Bobo but, makes people but, react. Yeah, you want that's, that's what you, you want, want from a radio show. Exactly. Of course. Good, bad, whatever. Just you yep. want people talking and reacting. Yeah, we didn't get much reaction after the uh, Brooke Hogan interview no. yesterday. No. Louis C.K. It's now we sleep. feel really bad about ourselves as broadcasters. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's America sleeping. <laughs> Let's get the horse fuck story on. Yes. Oh, this guy fucked a horse? What happened? Well, yeah. he, uh, he has a history of doing this. <laughs> he got caught. It's called buggery, you know. Is it? Is that what buggery is? Yeah. I didn't like know horse that. Like horse and buggy? No, because buggery... Because you're being a buggy sort of for the English horse. English law. Yeah, you're kind of being a buggy by proxy. So it's like buggery. I wonder if that is what it hook is it up. No, because I don't, I don't know because it, it means um, uh, anal intercourse with a man or a woman. If you're a guy and you have anal intercourse with a man or a woman, you are uh, engaging in buggery. But also vaginal intercourse with a horse is buggery. But anal with a horse is not considered buggery. It's considered <laughs> something else. You know, some sick sodomy fucking thing that will still get you put on the rack in England, I'm sure. But, <laughs> but it, who wanted to decide like, that one? Yeah, they decided that buggery is uh, sex up the ass on, on, on a human uh, or um, uh, vaginal sex with a horse. But wait a minute, sex up the ass with a human or vaginal sex with a horse? Yeah. Is the same thing, it's buggery. Same thing. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> but you can fuck a horse in the ass and it's not buggery. And it's not buggery. <laughs> but is it something worse? A I'm person's sure. asshole and a horse's vagina. vagina. Same thing. Yeah. They considered it the same kind of fucking... Well, but wait, maybe is there a step up for horse's asshole? Maybe it's just another thing. I think that's thing. what it is. I think it's even worse. It's like murder one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although the... the, the, um, the Penalty for buggery, yeah. Up until 1861, getting fucked up the ass by a horse. Yes, <laughs> yes. The horse yeah. gets to have his little piece with you. <laughs> was death by hanging? Really? And then after that, it was life in prison. 
And now did you have to sit on the horse that you fucked in the ass when you, yeah when you get fuck home? Fuck you and the horse you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and the horse you fucked and fuck both. And fuck both of you. Yeah, anal intercourse by a man with a man or woman, mm-hmm. or vaginal intercourse by either a man or a woman with an animal. Now, how does a woman? Where are you reading this off of, by the way? Uh, the definition of buggery. Uh, from what though? Uh, from uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, you just go Wikipedia. On buggery. anal intercourse. <clears throat> I love also the stuff that's highlighted to give you other references. Yes, yes, I might need that intercourse note at the, ba- uh, the, the yeah. Anal in- intercourse highlighted if you're interested. More to, more to say about that. <laughs> yes, it's a By a man with a man or a woman. Yeah, you can't or fuck that. Or vaginal ass. intercourse by either a man or a woman with an animal. With an animal. So How does a animal. woman fuck a horse up the asshole? That's what I want to know. Well, a vagina. Vagina. Oh, vaginal intercourse. Yeah. How, okay, so then, yeah, how does a woman... I guess with her fist? You can't fist a horse in a No, vagina? I think that means letting a horse oh, fuck you. Oh, look at you. And look been, at me. I've been thinking of that, like, since I read it yesterday, going, how does a woman do But it's, it's the horse fucking the woman. Or, if I said, now, by the way, it says animals. So yeah, a dog, anything. women can be fucked by dogs. I've seen now, it. Now, what about, what's, what about the woman getting fucked in the ass by an animal? Because that wasn't covered there. That's going to be a That's different That's got to be worse. Yeah. It's got to be worse. They don't step it down and go, think, at least it's I not buggery. I think that's called tomfoolery. Tom, yeah, <laughs> buggery is like one of those words where it should be yeah. tomfoolery. I think it's a, I think a, a woman being fucked in the ass by a horse is yes. shenanigans. I think yes. it's shenanigans. Only done by a scallywag. <laughs> exactly. Wow, they just said shenanigans. shenanigans. Visiting this website may harm your That's all these words that okay. used to be horrible, and now yeah, they yeah. don't matter anymore. Now it's just yeah. funny. Yeah, it turns out, yeah, if you really look up the oh, ap- yeah. epitomology or whatever it's called. Shenanigans. Turns out a, a, a horse coming in a woman's mouth is called silliness. <laughs> it's just that it's been softened over the years. <laughs> Yeah, being engaged in shenanigans years ago was probably a pretty bad thing. Yeah. Now it's just, it's funny to say. The yeah. word itself is just shenanigans. You can't be serious when you say it. Well, you want the update on the horse fucker? Buggery. I certainly you gotta do. got to hear uh, this one. Barbara Kenley says her horse of 15 years, Sugar, is like a child to her. Oh, boy. Mm. But a year and a half ago, she discovered this man, Rodell Vereen, inside Sugar's stable. Oh, oh stable. Inside so stable. stable. So to speak. Wow. Okay. Well, so wow. Yeah. Stable. All right. <laughs> inside Sugar's stable, he pleaded guilty to having sex with the horse. I mean, I don't know how to explain to you the sick feeling. Vereen was placed on South Carolina's mm. sex offender list Go and, and got three years probation. But Kenley says that was little comfort to her. Every night going to bed thinking, is that man out there with my animals? What is he doing to my horse? <laughs> fucking it. And uh, I, like I said, I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. She suspected well, Vereen was fucking masturbate and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> fucking was to be, rub one out and go to sleep. That's what I do when I think uh, I'm fucking the horse. Who cares if someone's fucking your horse? Jesus. I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. She suspected Vereen was back and secretly violating sugar again. When I come to feed the next morning, that I had sat out here waiting for him, and he, she'd been molested again. It was devastating. Kenley says she would sometimes spend the night inside the stables with a shotgun to keep an eye on <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> with her ass perched up waiting. <laughs> Why know? not me? There's a perfectly good fucking woman in the room. Yeah. <clears throat> He's fucking my horse? First of all, you don't name a horse Sugar and not expect it to be fucked. That's just a <laughs> sexy name for a horse. <laughs> Gotta give it a bad oh, name. God. Oh, this is one of our favorite pictures. Horse you vagina. Check. This is horse vagina. Is it really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does look like I it. I get it. You I know, get it. If you had to. But it looks like it's got balls above it, though. Yeah, that's, it looks that's the down. asshole yeah, there's above it. Yeah. And then there's sort of a what looks like the alien that wrapped around that guy's <laughs> neck tail. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't look very hairy. It's really like a... looks like a Geiger painting <laughs> they're all pink on the inside yeah it looks like a galaxy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you can see how it would probably feel good on your cock if it wasn't you know attached to a it doesn't horse. look very wet well you gotta you, just w- you gotta whisper in its ear <laughs> yeah you fucking hot oh you fucking yeah you oh, bitch. with a shotgun with to a keep shotgun. an eye on sugar she says she thought about shooting Vereen, but didn't want to go to prison. 
That's when she installed this. And moving my camera in various spots. And then I finally got a good picture. She should have been arrested Police for filming bestiality. <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't that be great if they arrested her? You can't yeah. film this shit. No. It's like fucking, yeah, I'm going to catch a child pornographer for, uh, I'm going to film him having sex with a child. No, that's illegal. Oh, dumb. <laughs> Dumb woman. Yeah, this woman is just, she deserves to have a horse. All that fucked. work. Yeah, what does she do? For, how does this woman have a horse in a stable and yeah, well, a shotgun and a camera? <laughs> All these fucking props. She's got a bunch of shit going on. Yeah. And then I finally got a good picture of it. Police mm. arrested Vereen on Monday after he was caught on tape earlier this month molesting the horse. <laughs> he didn't resist or fight back or deny. Ooh, now, the horse? Yeah, well, the horse loved it. Yeah. The horse does it. Have you ever seen another horse fuck a horse? Yeah. It's probably one of the most violent. violent things I've yeah, ever seen. We had this horse uh, named Concho Pete. Concho Pete was one of the few horses at our stable that wasn't a gelding. Who's, and they used to breed it. About? This one I lived out in California. You I was horses, 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 horses yeah. fucking. I was Gardens. Mr. Cowboy, equestrian guy. Dream buggies. Oh, dream I had weaver. horses. Yeah, I was the, out there. I was the shit. I have pictures of me with boots, the hat, the whole wow. fucking deal. I was a hick fucking cowboy. <laughs> but I was, you know, 14 years old, so I was a kid. Wow. Grew up that way, yeah. It was, uh, it was fun, you live, grew up in Massachusetts and you're... No, nah, I grew up in New York originally, and then my father moved out to California, so I went to live oh. with him. And then, uh, you know, uh, he, he, was, he wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> so Danny's going to find some horse fucking videos. Concho Pete would bite the back of the neck of all the mares and just oh, stick really? this giant... <laughs> Giant cock. Wow. I don't care. I know the guy ha was of a certain ethnicity, this criminal that was molesting the horses, but no way it's as big as a horse. Look at wow. this horse bone. And they just How the shove fuck it does in. He guide that in. How does he guide that into anything? I think the, the people have to guide it in. Like, look, they can't just let them fuck. They're tying this horse up in a certain thing. I guess that's so it doesn't completely kill the the mare but how do they get it done in nature wrap before the tail we got involved they have the tail like a boxer yeah they got to wrap the tail up why do that's you have to the wrap female the, why do you have to yeah but why do you have to wrap to, the tail if the two horses the were, were oh in the oh my god look at this look at this fucking oh, oh man Jesus. holy shit oh, god. then Looking he's coming already spurt. he's fucking coming already horses uh, horses can't <laughs> yeah look at his neck and he's biting the horse's neck and the horse is just standing there like... Horses have no staying power. All horses prematurely ejaculate. Faggot There's horse. no pleasure for the female, huh? Look at that. Female no. doesn't know what the fuck. What a rod that. he's got, the Female's though. like... It's bending. He's trying it. to find out how to get in. Good technique on the horse's part, yeah. huh? But that's two Boom. pumps and he's done. Oh. Boom. Two Ugh. pump he's jump. The, he's the two pump kid. Oh, it's all fucking yellow. <laughs> God oh. damn. He is fucking like... in there, too. He's a good two That's feet like inside the, that vagina. His cum looks like the wood glue that he's going to be <laughs> in a couple of years. <laughs> From glue to glue. All right, he's done. Get him off the ashes fucking thing. Ashes to ashes, glue to glue. Now he's just, that was good. Burr. See, you think that guy, you think the horse felt that <laughs> fucking guy is all limp now? <laughs> Do you think the horse felt the And then they talk human? to a dude. Then they talk to some dude. Never. Well, and then he fucks her and comes all over her yeah. fucking cunt. What a creep. That and then guy a little is. horse comes out later and I fuck it. Now we got a montage. Like here's two horses, horses just at a park somewhere next to a <laughs> Little League game. <laughs> yeah. It's weird how their necks arch kind yeah, of impossibly. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, neck kind of. And the horse stands up like a human when it comes time to do some fucking. That's some horse yep. fucking going on. That's because right. they watched us. Three. Yeah. One They're more. Like, one more. I want to see one trying to lay the horse on its back <laughs> and do it human <laughs> style. I wonder if horses do donkey punches. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last uh, bit of the story. Ah. He didn't resist or fight back or deny. Now, he did kept apologizing to me. He, he said, did. if I hurt you, ma'am, I'm sorry. Vereen is now behind bars. Ben Vereen. His brother says yeah. he has mental problems no. and may yeah, not really? have been taking his medicine. I'd like to see him get some help, but I also want him kept behind bars when he's getting the help. Really? Here we go, there it is. Well, oh my lady, god, how are we just watching horse fuck videos? Look he did kept go. apologizing to me. God, did that, he? You that... fucking past tense, not using correctly, stupid <laughs> retard with a fucking horse. Horses just don't look like they're made for fucking. 
the the hooves. You don't have any. No, yeah, it's almost like hands they, to hold yeah, on. You can't That's grab onto the thing. Isn't that weird? It's yeah, like they it's... made them wrong. Like, wouldn't they just be? Wouldn't the fucking be the first thing you when you design an animal? Yeah, the, just to make like, sure that you can keep making them. You make them so that they can fuck. Yeah, so they can fuck. Easier Why are they than awkward that? when they fuck? That should be an egg laying animal. Yeah, <laughs> that's like. It should just be a, <laughs> Horse I know it's egg. a mammal, but it should just be a, an egg laying animal. It's not built for fucking. Uh, what is it? What is this? Oh, they're though? doing that that weird mouth thing when they smell. Is that a, a Shetland pony or something? Still hung works. like a motherfucker. These horses. Jesus Christ. How did giraffes fuck? Find some giraffe fucking uh, videos. No That's got to be impossible. You're not going to find giraffes That's fucking. That's got to be. Danny finds anything. It's giraffes if, fucking. If, Come if, on. if there's fucking to be had, Danny will find it. Come on. Here we go. Giraffe fucking. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're built a little so, wedge-like, it's just... so it's... Takes seconds. How the fuck do they get this done? The weird now, thing now is the giraffe they're... is just standing behind him. The rocks behind them look like they're gonna fuck too. It's <laughs> <That's> weird. <laughs> that really is a strange image. Where is this? Like Disney? That's them. That's how they fuck. Animal. Oh, here he goes. Oh, hey. oh, shit. Did he just shove it in and that was <laughs> Holy it? Holy shit! It, it had Whoa. to be one giraffe thrust. Fucking today. One thrust that took a tenth of a second. Wow. He, he was Damn. He just pushed everything forward. What's that about? Did you ever see that video? It's a lot of people have watched it of the, uh, the like the wild. What do you call those animals? They got antlers. Fuck. Oh, elk or or so, some kind deer, of weird rams, bison or something by a river in Africa, and these cougars come and attack Cougar. them. Yeah. Did you ever see this video? And Ant then they antelope. end up fighting with a yeah. with an alligator. That whole oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. one of the greatest oh, yeah. things I ever I saw. Just, the alligator comes out of like nowhere. Yeah, well, but then it's but then the elk water. the elk come back and then they fight back. It's crazy. It's yeah, one of the coolest and, things I've and, ever seen. And there's really no way for them to win. I forget. <laughs> no, but they do. The elk win? Yeah. I guess it's one of the coolest alligator? things I ever saw. I'd take the alligator over the elk any day. <laughs> UFC style. <laughs> the alligators are good grapplers. You gotta get them on the ground. They're not good on their feet. Louis, she's still on TV. What you know? <laughs> what <laughs> Louis, she's Jesus. still on TV. What, what is she Yeah. You're on pretty good terms with your dad. Who Great gives a shit? Right <laughs> Let's hear from the hall. Can we? Sure. Can we got some sound? Sure. Here? The hall. You've been married to somebody for 23 years and you're crazy in, in love with them. You've had children with them. You know, it's a situation. Nobody that, gives a you shit. Know, you you're one fucking you human know. being. We had so many. You're one. Things going oh, on, you know, who cares? And, um, situations <laughs> that happen that, you know, we just got torn apart. He's talking like he's the fucking president. Reality, like, this yeah, is how seriously we take this. Um, he has been doing this for a long time, so I think he's... What, wasting America's he time? <laughs> Jesus. I think maybe and she's at the point now where she just has to talk about it. Yeah, and they're all father. being so Did serious, and we're all supposed to focus on their fucking relationship. He was younger. Yeah. <laughs> um, but your but, dad dated a younger woman. True, but when you're... 34 versus 19 years old, it's a big difference. You know, I think kind of just common sense has to kick in. Look at the two of them um, listening intently. And I got over the age intently. thing, but I think it's just that, you know, I my gut tells me he's not good for her. I think it's pretty obvious. So. And they're talking about it on Nash. Like this is a fucking you know, personal relationship. This is a news show, by the way. This yeah, this is the news, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, right. What about this? Was there pressure? I mean, self-imposed pressure. you got cameras there. They want to take pictures of something. They want to show. They want drama. Was that somehow... Uh, did that influence you to you know, nice. create these Good moments, question. Perhaps, Good right? question. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. work. It's kind yeah. of embarrassing because we nice. asked all these questions you know I mean? yesterday. <laughs> yeah, of course we did. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? <laughs> but you keep <laughs> claiming an on album about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we we yeah. deserve it. That's damn. the hag she's going to look And this look fucking like. footage like, like it's newsreel footage. Pressure. Hulk is in a tuxedo with a black bandana on his head. When you listen to the album, does it bring back painful memories? Wow, yeah, that was good. Good. When I listen to the song Dear Mom, it does bring back memories. Does it really? Listen to it. I'm like, I can't believe. You know the song, oh. dear mom. I can't believe I'm making <laughs> money off the situation. It's, just, it's still shocking because yeah. I'm like, it's my mom. I love her. Oh my know? god. Let's um, yeah. So let me go on this show and talk about her. <laughs> How does it bring back time? Oh. Really happy person, you can't really get me down. Tell us about really? really? What if I piss in your hair? Will <laughs> I get you down? <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, uh, it'll be running. I think there's two or three more episodes left. So try to catch it. It's it's really awesome. We're still filming. All the shows are sold out. I'm sorry. Caroline, maybe take a show. And if I could do a little shout out, go to brooksworld.com. 
Uh, okay, let's see. my website. All That's right. great. What are you going to tweet about us today? Bro? I feel weird about my mom's relationship with it. Here's my website. I'm going to steal one of your Tic Tacs. Okay, you got it. You can have some. some uh, vaginal, vaginal problems? We can do oh, more than God. that. How about a mug? Okay, it's a mug. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give her the works. <laughs> 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 that was good when you said give her the works. Lose our cameraman. Wendy, rewind. We look at what... The highlights were from yesterday's show on the this Wendy Williams show. This guy's a douche. She has some friendly sure. advice to a woman in her audience. Is that right? I love you for watching. Oh, this oh, monster. I hate the monster. The fucking Wendy Williams monster. Well, listen, you know, look at the size of this Sandra, fucking the tranny. Every time she gets into an argument with her boyfriend, she expects me to call nice him look. and talk <gasps> no, to him. No, no, no. Yes, and I feel very uncomfortable with that because I don't want to get Wendy involved. Wendy Williams no. is a man. Do I, do I don't even understand what this is. You tell her is. that you are a practicing adult, and practicing adults <laughs> stay out of grown people's business, okay. and she needs to grow up. Okay. Don't you do that anymore. I won't. You're correct. Thank She's you. wrong. Tell her like it is, Wendy. She doesn't hold what that. is going We're on? We're done. Very poor <laughs> We're done. I thought I saw the limit years ago. No, and I know. Go, I thought so, she so. tells it like it is. I thought... <laughs> When I thought when those shows came on, it was like this one won't last. But it's like fifteen generations in to all of this and stuff. still they're just a, yeah. When you thought back to like you know, I was on this fucking radio show uh, that's probably in this building. Who cares? Um, You're beating Bubba, us up. Bubba, what is this oh, guy? Oh, Bubba Love Sponge. Yeah, that's what it was. Ugh. He sucks. Okay, so here was here's what I here's my he experience. Sucks. I do radio all the time. Yeah. On the phone because I'm, I'm on the road. Last three years, constantly on the road. So I have to do radio to support the dates. Yeah. And I never know. I get an email saying, here's your radio itinerary for the week. I never read it. It comes down to I'm walking down the street with my kids, and my phone rings, and I'm on the radio somewhere in America. I don't fucking know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, why would it? No. you know, And, it, and it's funny to me when people like... Uh, they go, hey, I'm, we're calling in from whatever, Baltimore. Oh, oh, okay, Baltimore. Oh, you didn't even know where we are? No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> what am I, why am I supposed to know You that? think I'm training like Rocky all year for one date in Baltimore? I'm doing Baltimore's one in fucking five dates that week. One out of the five cities, yeah. But anyway, week. Bub, I guess, so I get I get a call. Hey, uh, you go, we're coming in a minute. I don't even know what show. I go, oh, okay, I guess I'm on the radio. <laughs> so then I'm on hold for a while. And then this guy comes on, who I don't know who the fuck he is, and he goes, um, hey, uh, sorry, uh, we uh, made you wait for a while there, um, but we had the Hulkster on. And I go, okay, I don't even, I don't, I'm not really aware that Hulk is what he's doing or whatever. Yeah. So it's this guy, Bubba, the love sponge, and he goes, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you got to understand that we made you wait because of Hulk, right? I mean, you get why we would do that, wouldn't you? And I go, listen, I wasn't even really aware I was waiting. I, I, I just, yeah, <laughs> just, the phone just I, yeah, I'm not listening. I was listening to hold music. I wasn't listening to you or, and he goes, uh, yeah, okay, but what's your take on what's going on with Hulk? And I go, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? The Hulkster is getting screwed by this gold digger. And I go, I really don't know anything about that. And I don't really pay attention to what's happening to celebrities. I don't care. And then he gets offended. And he says, oh, oh, I get it. Oh, I get I it. I get it. You comedians get to just leap around a stage being a jackass. While I have to sit here and be responsible to my listeners. Are you shitting <laughs> no, I'm not me? not kidding. <laughs> what? what like, he takes ass? it as, like, a personal responsibility uh, to know what's going on he's a stupid in hillbilly. Hulk's personal life. A While you have the hillbilly. bells on your hat uh, and your toes. Right. And yeah, you're exactly. Just, I'm right. just being a douche yeah. on stage. Yeah. Right. And this guy is, like, fucking holding up a standard. Yeah, we can list all the responsible Stop. things he's done with his radio show, yeah. by the way. Yeah. He's a hack. Hack hillbilly. No, it, the whole, it went downhill. It turned into him hanging up on me and going, you're no Joe Rogan, and then he hung up on me. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just ridiculous. Well, you're not. I'm not a Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan at all. Will kick your ass. We're very oh. different human <laughs> beings. Oh, here it is. In a lot of ways. You, you're no Joe Rogan because you suck. Yeah, and then I called back, and we got into it. It was fucking stupid. What an asshole he but, is. But that, but that, the thing, yeah, I mean, the whole dispute I had with him that ended up hanging, I didn't even care about that. The thing that I remember is the idea that that's some kind of a serious responsibility to yeah. be up on all this reality show shit. Yeah. He's like, he's like being, Ed, like he deserves the Edward R. Murrow Award. <laughs> Award for, for really the being up prepared for the Hulk interview. 
Hey, I got <laughs> fucking what a asshole. Douche. I got what was said. So, what uh, was... so you call back, Bubba. Yeah, I... Hello, and Louis says, "Listen, man, if you have to be such a little baby that you just have to have your phone." Has to always work, and no one can say anything to you. And you make your little cracks as you hang up on me, like you can't say it and keep me on and see what I have to say about it. I was trying to know. You were being cowardly and, and babyish, childish, and very, very silly. That's what I would say. Uh, now, if I were acting childish, babyish, and silly, I wouldn't have allowed you to call me that because I knew this was going to happen. You allowed me back on because I called in. You didn't plan this. <laughs> oh, I don't have to put you back on. In my initial plan, I changed it midstream, bitch, and I, I decided to put you back on. And Louie, oh, okay, I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you. You, you. you have a great day and good luck on your shows. And then Louie fucking says, okay, you're no Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> and then this fucking hillbilly goes, no, but I work for him, and you're no Joe Rogan, and you don't work for him, bitch. Why would you work for Joe Rogan? And then he goes, work for and, then he goes Rogan, and your show life. got canceled after a year, and I'm glad. Really? You're glad that a show like fucking Louis got canceled? That was Hilarious. a great show. It had nothing to do I'm with it. I'm glad I got canceled, too. I'm, I wouldn't be fucking nominated for an Emmy if I did. If I was so lucky, a, Louis. a very good following. They just decided yes. to pass it. doesn't matter. If he didn't, if yeah, you're past that, obviously. It doesn't matter, and yeah. you're now Emmy nominated for if your stand-up didn't have special. his fat head buried so far up Howard's asshole, he wouldn't be working for this company anyway. So no, the shut thing, the fuck up. The reason he got mad at me is because, you know, my bit that I did on Conan about everything's great and nobody's happy and about airplanes and how... It's a brilliant bit. Nobody cares anymore that we have amazing right, phones right. and airplanes. Yeah. It was just a bit that caught fire and it was huge. So his guy that works on his show... Bubba, he, he really loved the bit and asked me to do it. So I start. he was like, tell me, do some of it, like on the air. Okay, so I start talking about how phones, you know, you should be happy that they work. And Bubba goes, well, I don't know, when my phone doesn't work on a... Uh, when I get mad when my phone doesn't work, I mean, I'm a pay customer. I have a right. So he just this isn't he walks a discussion. Right. No, but also he it was he walked right into the teeth of the bit. The bit is right, how right. what whiners people are. So he starts whining. Jesus. So I go. He goes. <laughs> I go over a bridge every morning on the way to work, and the phone cracks out halfway across the bridge, and I go. You can't. Stop talking for during a, a ride across a bridge. Like, what was so yeah. important? Who even cared what you were saying when it cracked out? What is it? He goes, wow, I was making a deal. I was making money for America. I'm like, no, you weren't. You were whining about something else to somebody else. I went after him because that's what that's how the bit works. Yeah. And he got really mad and said, yeah, you're no Joe Rogan. And he cut me off. And then he bitched to his people that I was ah. uh, he was like, uh, yeah, well, don't do your bit to me. This is my show. He's just one of those spoiled brat radio oh, guys. Yeah, he's an asshole. Don't he's... do your comedy at me. This is my show. I, You know, he just got insulted personally. He, you know what it is with him? He's failed for so long uh, trying to make a name for himself. He I don't never really about got it. that yeah. like that name for himself that he's so bitter and miserable to anyone with any bit of success. He did make a name for himself. Bubba the Love Sponge. Yeah, yeah. What a great <laughs> what fucking name is that to what a make great for yourself? name. It's his Literally legal, made it's a his name for himself. Name. It's his legal name, too. And it's a stupid oh. name. <laughs> Horrible. What, a, well, what an asshole. No, that's why I said you're such a baby that you need your phone to work and no one can say anything to you. Now we get it. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So. Fuck him. You don't like doing radio shows, do you, Lo? I love it when it's fun. Yeah. It's a great way to spend time when it's a good yeah. time. This is the only show I actually enjoy doing. I mean, I don't... When you get... Uh, but, you know. I mean, out of all the radio shows you do, the percentage of shows that are fun to do? One. <laughs> I mean, literally, I probably do 100 one. a year, and you're, you guys is this the one that's good. <laughs> it's literally 1%, one, one out of 100. Jesus. No, they, they there's some... Have, they all have that, uh, like... Um, pat format thing that you yeah. gotta do you gotta you gotta play to their rules and everything it's like fuck no they let just come let in and come be funny there's people that know you know when i did that movie uh ricky gervais's movie the this side well it's called the invention of lying now but the uh e e entertainment tonight or one of those shows came i don't even know which one extra whatever yeah one of it doesn't matter doesn't fucking matter no and uh they asked to talk to all of us so they talked to me and ricky and jennifer garner was there so they did me and Ricky first, and I went up and just got into shit with the woman. I ended up getting in an argument with this lady. <laughs> She's just asking me these questions. And I'm like, what? what is that supposed to mean? Like, I didn't understand how the thing operated, you know? <laughs> she was like, uh, something about, said something about my weight or something. I'm like, you're going to call me fat on your show? What, yeah, what you know, what's wrong you? with you? And she's like, what? And she, And it was a mess. 
And and then Ricky oh, sat down. Right. Ricky's a pretty smart guy, and he ends up going, "What what what on earth is that supposed to mean?" And Ricky gets in a fight with a woman. Uh, pardon me. That's Holy all right. What happened? Shit. Where did she? Holy come from? fuck! A dude, person in she? the anus. Who is she? She from the oh front too. God. Dude, she was really cute. Oh my god! You know who is she that? is, Danny? Who is that? Find yeah, find out. Do some recon. Oh find right, out Lou. everything. Find out everything. You're right, Lou. Oh my god! <laughs> the back of your head just hit the microphone. Yeah, I just are right. Oh, do you know? <laughs> of course, Sam. Sam knows. knows. Sam who, knows. Who is that? Who's that? That's one of Cavino and Rich's intern. I think it's Cavino's oh cousin. Oh my god! Well, how what? about we get her to intern for our show? <laughs> yeah. What do you, do you guys want me to go grab her? Why don't you make her the program director? For, I mean, and bring her in on the show. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk to her. <laughs> let's let's talk to her for a couple of seconds. We're gonna fuck up everything, you know that. Okay, let's talk to her for a couple of seconds. Let's see this. Oh my god! He's Look at running. Sam running. He's running with, and he with, those, run. with those feet too. Yeah, he's got floppy. He's got feet. like duck feet. It's like clown shoes when he oh, runs. Oh, we're gonna actually see him intercept. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at this. Here comes the intercept. The gaunt. It's ten miles. We we can out of breath. Breath. It's <laughs> like He's out of breath already. Completely across the building, like, hey, could you? I'll be an Anthony. Want to talk to you? Would you come I on can, the show for a minute? Can you come over? They want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, she came walking by this way. Yeah, I saw yeah. her coming through this way and was like, "Who the mm. fuck is that?" You're gonna make a. You're gonna. You know what? You're gonna make play? a move. Make a, a play? play. Make a little play. I don't know. Lou, okay. you dating? Uh, that sort of not the last few like month or so, mm -hmm. but I was, yeah. You're doing all right out there. Yeah, man. Uh, young girls like weird guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. turns out. And that's something. I learned a lot from divorce. <laughs> yeah, young yeah. women take it in the ass. <laughs> I had no idea that shit was going on. <laughs> When I was a kid, it was like, I don't know, maybe if you, like, a woman that was a hooker and now she's 45, she might let you fuck her in the ass. Yeah. But women Holy in their shit. 20s, women in their early 20s are like, it's just a prerequisite. It changes the subject. Hi. Hi, we got it. How are you? What's Good, your name? How are you? What's your name? My name's Jamie. Jamie. Hi, we, Jamie. We had a real important show going on, and then you walk by, and we don't even remember Completely. what we're talking about. <laughs> you Change derailed the program. the program. Yeah. Oh, you're you sweet. You derailed Thanks. the show. You came walking Thank by this you. way, and it was like, I'm not even wearing heels today. Who the fuck is that? Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't Aww, matter. Oh, it's great to meet like, you guys. Who is that? Now, where, did, where, where the hell did you come from? Uh, I actually... <laughs> where in holy hell did you where emerge in, from? God damn hell! Did yeah, basically most of the broads around here. Ugh, well, yeah, not I much was to look uh, at. I was interning with a, with another channel, and now I'm with my cousin Steve Cavino on the Cavino and Rich show. Really? Yeah, I'm having a good time where, too. Where's yeah. your cousin? Because we're making a trade, Sam. Is you're, he over Sam, you're done. I would what? love to work with you guys. Holy uh, you know what? Shit. I'll give you my See? schedule. How easy <laughs> that is, fellas. Sam, once wow. you get a mic and say goodbye <laughs> to the Opie and Anthony audience. Yeah, yeah guys. Look, I'm very valuable to the show. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Just goodbye. Just goodbye. Just goodbye. Just goodbye. Goodbye. Kenny, where's Kenny? Drag Sam out. No, I want to go. Fucking afro. Kenny, you know how much no. I do. Yeah, Say Kenny, goodbye to the out. audience. Oh, no. Get him out. No. Just get him out. <laughs> goodbye, You're Sam. Done. Oh, You're right. done. Have fun on the Maxim so channel. So done. Yeah, so long. Yeah. There he goes. There you go. Bye, Sam. So how oh, long have you been with so them? Bad. Don't feel um, just bad. Probably a couple weeks. I yeah, because I have yeah. seen you around. You'd have been, like, noticed. You think? Yeah, you'd have been mm. noticed. You, you, don't, you don't know you're hot? You got. Well, yeah, she you gotta know your she, she, no. she knows. She goes to like a bar and everybody's like, Ugh. she's not wearing a sweater, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she knows. Like, she looks like, good. Like I know I'm an asshole. You gotta know you're hot. Well, thank you. I try to. I try to keep you know a good head on my shoulders. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to lurk around. You know, the no, you don't even have to try. Like you got a. Uh, you, you got a boyfriend? No, I don't actually. Ooh. I don't. Oh, do you go out a lot? Um, I try to. I work a lot now since I'm interning here. So, That's good. Yeah, so uh, I you, you have a regular job too? You bartend? Yeah, I do. So oh, it's, cool. it's kind of like going out. Is Only it, the guys can't really hop behind the bar and get you, you know? Well, they they can, must but... just like... Uh, <laughs> they got to keep behind the bar. It's a I rule. I think every yeah. girl I've ever gone out with has been a bartender. And they like... It's good you know, money. You go there, good, it's good money. money. But some of the guys you're dealing with there are like... Woo. They just do not let up. Mm. They don't let up. Do you, do you? It's true. I used to be a shot girl, like the cocktail waitress oh, thing, yeah, and that yeah, was a yeah, lot yeah. more invasive. I'm like, yeah, sure, you can see my butt cheeks if you give me a hundred bucks, just, you know? Yeah, it's grabbing. It's terrible. You, it's is really that price bad. still on the market? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit. Uh, it's a little more invasive. Yeah. 
but I like bartending though. It's good. Yeah, where, where, what, like, what? How not, old not are you? exactly, but I live at the Jersey Shore. Actually. Jersey Shore. Yeah, I'm 24. 24. Uh, yeah. That's the surprise, isn't it? Yeah. I get mistaken. She looks like 19. Though. Yeah, you look like 19. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're probably a. Depends on what I'm huh? wearing, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. if I have like what a, makes a shirt look... with the cleave showing, and people are like, oh, you're like yeah. a little right. bit older. I gotta take an awkward picture. So. For yeah. You. Okay. I gotta let everyone know. <laughs> Yeah. Also, that we, that we fired could, Sam for you. could you could you take a picture? Um, <laughs> Did you guys, she's like a celebrity. I put it on my, I know. I put it on where my, is it? Where are all these pictures I put it going? On my and say you're my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Right. I should have worn heels today. See, I should have tried to look. Yeah. No, I, I it's okay. This is what happened to Anthony. He wants everybody to think. Let me just get one for <laughs> So I put on classmates, and I have a different girlfriend. Should I bite his nipple? Ooh. Wow. Well, if you want, <laughs> sure. Two in there. Thank oh. you. Oh, oh well, you guys, no, thank you so much. Oh, no, you can still hang out. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you, want to, you want to meet Seth Rogen? <laughs> We actually, I, I saw him, but he walked right past me. Why would he walk wow, past me? Wow, he must be a homo? Gay. I don't know. I think he was, I think he was in a rush. Right Seth Rogen's a homo. Are you guys interviewing him now? I think we're supposed to. Yeah, we, might, we might blow him off for you, though. Cool. Well, oh, I would yeah. love to hang out and just shake second. his hand. Yeah. He's my favorite. Why not? I came in early what? today just to meet him. Did you? So. I did. And he, and, he, and he didn't even notice you? No. He's no. your favorite what? so jaded. He's my favorite, like, comedian. I don't yeah. know, you know, actor. They get know. jaded. Mm. But he's These funny guys. as hell, so. <laughs> so I like him. Is he still your favorite, even though he didn't say anything to you when you no, walked um, by? Um, I don't know. It depends. He's got second chance. Mm. If he doesn't, then I don't hey, know. Louis mm. had a very uh, good observation. Louis is uh, dating, and you had a nice observation about a young girl. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah, yeah. Didn't you, Lou, or, or you have I was telling them that I was... <laughs> <laughs> or do you have amnesia? I'm, right I'm now? interested. Are you? I am, yeah. For real. Yeah, it yeah. turns out, <laughs> and I didn't expect this, that it's young turned. girls take it in the ass now and again. But I didn't know that. You know what? They really do. They do, they right? Really do. They do. See, I had a feeling I could say that it's to you. It's terrible be a because I. Even <laughs> it's if terrible. I, even, <laughs> like it's happening out in the street. I wouldn't talk about it. Like it's not like, hey guys, yes. I got it in the butt yesterday. You yeah. know? Keep it to yourself, right? I, yeah. I well, it's just that they it. offer it up a lot more easily. And they, and it, it's like I got an extra cigarette, like offered like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. hey, I take it in the ass, by the way, if you're interested. I know. It's so strange. And I'm like, it's the pornography industry. They love us. Yeah, I think my that's true. God. I think that's why. And guys always ask too, you know. Yeah. Do they? I they never asked ask. once a girl if she'd let me yeah. fuck her ass. Yeah. And I haven't done it still because I don't great. really. Yeah. <laughs> stay in for Seth Rogen. <laughs> I think that that's All the right, line. Cool. Seth, Thanks that's for what, grabbing me. No, no, guys. stay right there. Bring stay in right Seth. Here? Yes. Oh, okay. That's what makes you a gentleman is that you don't ask a woman to let yeah. you fuck her in the ass. Would, that's would, a really nice would, line. Would it ever be a problem? Hey, what's up, dude? Maybe, maybe give you a call and hang out. Who? You, me. Seth. Oh, no, no, let's hang happening? out. Would that be cool? Uh, absolutely, Would you yeah. you put your number in my phone? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got we to gotta explain uh, to wow. Seth Rogen. Of course, you know Louis, Louis C.K., yeah. Opie and Anthony. Yeah. And Did I walk into a date rape? Can, can, can I, 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 I say what's happening? Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I'll just, I can call it. Oh, yeah, it's easy yeah. to call it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's so, easier. It's more of a lunch yeah. date rape. We just learned, Seth, try and, you know. We just learned that she's a new intern on the Mac. Maxim Channel. Yes. We just fired no. this guy t- <laughs> they just, to bring they, her they aboard. They dragged him out. And Good. Louis just got some info out of her that she uh, sh- she agrees that young women take it in the ass. So Good. welcome to the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> I've, I've, yeah. really, I've found my home, guys. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> yeah. They yeah, they, they do. <laughs> and now they've exchanged they do. They take numbers. take it right in the dirty hole. But, yeah, I just want to, you know, because I figure if you're, you know, you're not, you don't have a boyfriend or anything. <laughs> no, I don't. Go out and hang out. Oh, she's a big fan of yours, Seth, too. I am. You are my absolute favorite. I came in early to work today, so. Really? Oh, that's yeah. but you walk right by her a few minutes I ago. Did. If I could somehow <laughs> pawn this off to you guys, I yeah. would. I don't know. How to do. <laughs> she, was bu- she was bummed that you didn't notice her when like, she walked by. So. I, I'm sorry. No, in, in a jujitsu type I redirection, <laughs> I can. I totally. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi mindset. Exactly. Out Help out. You got a question for Seth before you leave there? Um, yeah, will you go out with, on a date with me? I would like to. <laughs> wow. oh, that was pretty nice. Well, he has a girlfriend, I know. No, no he's single? not, though. I knew wow. this. I, I did my. you going out with Anthony. She's allowed. I did my Anthony asked her out seconds ago. Gonna, I know, literally. I'm look, sorry, dude. Look, I didn't I'm not going to get, hey, Seth Rogen. I'm, I'm Anthony from the Opie and Anthony <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, you lose to Seth Rogen different. every time. We lose guys to Seth. Guys on a lot of very popular movies. I don't have a show, though. I understand. I uh, yeah, know. So it's nothing like a show. Nothing like a show. Yeah. <laughs> Steady work. You have movies. 
He's that, in some movies, well. but you have you a show. have a show. I have a show. That's the difference. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, on a daily basis, I could pretty much just say what I want. Man, that's, right. that's great, yeah, great, man. I can't Fantastic. do that. No, I'd rather I'd rather go to a premiere of a huge movie and go, yeah, I'm in that. Yeah, yeah, that's that, fantastic. That seems a little more important than yeah. this, this horse shit than we this do every drivel. day. <laughs> you must be just thrilled to death to be going around like fucking just being whored out to stations all day long. Yeah, it's true. Those those Maxim guys wear some tight shirts. That's what I. That's <laughs> really, 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 that's what I've learned today. They, they do wear tight shirts. Yeah, do they think they're the girls. With I the know. That's what I, 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 I yeah. see They've been confused. Yeah, <laughs> you're not doing the photo shoot this month, yeah. fella. Yeah. Now the new movie, um, Funny People. Funny People. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we were talking about movies though about comedians. Yeah. Uh, don't usually do very well because people don't have give a, hard a fuck time about us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not interesting. People have a hard time playing comedians. Like, yeah. Like unless they are working. Louis will attest to that. Yeah. 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 Like, he yeah, saw but us try. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was good though. I saw him at the improv. Like, I could see. I could see you doing that though, because you're, you're like funny. You guy did it stuff, too, right? I did. I started out doing stand up. Yes. So. I saw it's easy That's for the you. difference. But when you get someone. Because I, what I always think of is that fucking movie with Tom Hanks. Oh, and I'm sorry. We, we all uh, talked about it. You had to have. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what's funny, the one scene we always talked about is such bullshit and that they all have lockers at the comedy yeah. club. <laughs> yeah. And we all yeah. talked about, like, we just can't have lockers. And then we literally showed up to the set and there was fucking lockers in there. And <laughs> really? Like, yeah. We're like, what the hell is this? And we wow. covered it up with, like, a soda machine or something. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, we were really scared. I mean, it was hard. You know, for me, I mean, I was supposed to, I had done stand up. So actually, for me, it wasn't that hard. It was more like just writing a shitload of jokes for the movie. Mm -hmm. That was the challenge. But like Jonah Hill had never done stand up yeah, and yeah. had to look like he was good at it and been doing yep. it for years. And one night, me and Jonah went to the improv and we were both like, oh, that, like, we did our sets. We we're like, oh, that wasn't bad. And then Louis went up and like just fucking annihilated. <laughs> like, it was crazy. <laughs> and me and Jonah were just in the back, just like, oh, shit, that's so much. What are we doing? Why are we. So I was that's like, how it's I felt like, I felt like how like like an actor must play when they play like a baseball player and then like A-Rod shows up and they're like, oh, there's real baseball players here. <laughs> like, in the movie, they've been making it look like I can hit a home run. <laughs> But uh, but what's funny is that Jonah did stand up for like six months for the fucking movie, and mm. then he's literally if you see it, he's in it for like four and a half seconds. To really? Make stand up? Yeah. Oh, and after not, all that work, after all that, it's not even a joke he wrote. It's a joke uh, Sandler wrote. Really? <laughs> I feel so bad oh. about it. And he's never gonna do it again, oh, right? Never, never, ever no. gonna do it again. You killed him. He always wow. told you. Louis <laughs> 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 killed him. All his confidence Louis, away. Louis crushed well, him. Well, I remember that night you guys came in, and it was like. Um, you you had to assert your power over us. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> no, definitely. No, when you guys were on, I was definitely like, no, okay, let's let's show these ass. Let's <laughs> show these ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is how it's done. But because you know how actors are when comedians go into a movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Jimmy's told me a lot uh, that, mm -hmm. that when the, he walks up, it's like, oh, the comedian's here to do yeah, his here little comes. his little funny part, and he doesn't mm -hmm. know he's not an actor, so he yep. doesn't understand. So it must be nice. Which is usually the case. Drill well, it's always the case. Yeah, the don't know what the fuck doing. Jimmy, Jimmy's problem is he doesn't know ever know what to do with his hands when he's acting. That's really funny. Like, put just, it in your pocket up, or yeah. just keep, <laughs> keep it straight up like you're being held up in the old west. That's why I hold things. Just always hold things. <laughs> yeah, just hold something all the time. Yeah. No, but I remember Seth actually looked like a stand-up when he was doing it. He yeah. looked like a comedian. Like his brain was functioning yeah. like a comedian, but Jonah was Jonah full, was freaking out. full of ticks, and he kept swinging his arms around, and he wouldn't let go with a fucking mic stand and it was a, it was a mess. I remember you were talking to Jonah after trying to encourage him mm -hmm. and all you could muster was at the end you said nice to meet you to the yeah. audience. That was very polite. <laughs> yeah, that was right. <laughs> That's good. You did, you did compliment his jokes. Merely his demeanor on stage. Yeah, at least and if that you, it was polite. Yeah. <laughs> the best part at least was when he left. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't funny at all, but you were not rude to the audience. <laughs> rude to the audience. <laughs> the cordial gentleman. That's, that's nice. You were cordial in your bombing. <laughs> About as good as a god. You have another question for Seth? Yeah, I was just uh, kidding, by the way. I know oh, you have it's a okay. So I'm not trying to. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't <laughs> I'm worry. Sure she's lovely. You want to go out with Louis C.K.? <laughs> Anyone else? No. <laughs> no, Louis. Um, Jesus. My other question. Um, Come on, me. Gosh. 
Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. When did, where did you get your start? Sorry. That's where I want to know. Because I'm trying to break into this radio industry, and I want to know. You're doing good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I hate to break it to you, but you're on the radio right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Literally on an exact so, bar. Sometimes you just have to look around to see that you've made it. Uh, <laughs> you've done it. Um, <laughs> what, was, like, your, what was like your funniest starting moment? Uh, where, where I don't know. I, mean, I started doing stand-up. Like, that's, to me, that was like a very obtainable career path. Like, I thought if you do, like, you could get up in a comedy club. That seemed like something that was possible, and it just seemed like if you were funny, then you would go out to other comedy clubs. Uh, so I think by being on the radio, you got a really great jump start for ultimately being on the radio. <laughs> Did you just, were you doing stand up and then just started going on auditions or what the fuck? Like, how yeah, like I the, wasn't, the uh, at, near the end of high school, it became clear I wasn't going to graduate because I just smoked mm-hmm. weed all day instead of going to class. So I decided I should probably try to get a job. You didn't graduate uh, high school? No, I didn't graduate oh, high awesome. school. So that's I, uh, great. I decided I should start trying to audition for things and I got an agent like through doing stand up and then freaks and geeks was like the second audition yeah. i went on wow. and that's how i met judd and that was like 12 years ago wow. almost and i've wow. literally been working with and him that was your since overnight then. success i mean <laughs> yeah after if you consider a show that yeah. got canceled after 10 episodes <laughs> an overnight success what but between my experience of you is was freaks and geeks Nothing then, for eight years. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And then your whole face for knocked up. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, because I remember you were smaller parts in those other movies, but yeah. that was like. So yeah. what the fuck did you do for eight years? I uh, We did another show called Undeclared, which I was a writer for, and then I started writing. Oh, that was on Fox, Yeah, right? it was on See, Fox. I forgot that existed. And, oh, many people <laughs> did. Yeah. And, uh then I just, I would help Judd rewrite movies, and then I wrote for Sasha Bear. I wrote for the Ali G Show mm-hmm. uh, for the oh, second really? season. Yeah. I didn't know that. And uh, I was just kind of like a writer, like a writer right. for hire. And then 40 Old Virgin coincidentally just kind of came up, and Judd wow. put me in it. Yeah. Did you want to write, or, or was it one of those, like, goddamn, like, I'm sick of doing this. I want to get in front of the camera. No, honestly, like, when you're, I mean, there was very little precedent for guys like me. And for, I literally remember, like, looking at guys like Vincent D'Onofrio and being like, maybe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he did it. Maybe I could do it. <laughs> um, but, no, I never assumed that they would ever want me in front of the camera i was more mm-hmm. than happy being a writer i mean that... did you do stand-up during any of that time or just writing i stopped pretty much when i moved to la because yeah. the game it was just Hard so stage, different yeah. like yeah. also mm-hmm. i just remember thinking it was so loud that was like really yeah. the weirdest like i remember thinking like all these stand-ups are so loud like yeah, that's in true. vancouver everyone you just wrote your jokes and you told them it was very much mm-hmm. about the writing of the joke and like yeah kind of just making the other comics laugh and then i got out to la and i was like oh all these people just want to be on sitcoms mm-hmm. and they just want to like show instantly like what the show would be and it's yep. like oh uh, i'm a mexican guy but i got white parents like <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just remember like thinking i could never do that and so i just kind of stopped <laughs> yeah, this is, it was smart yeah. no it is it's very desperate comedy in la yeah, and it is like that. Everybody's first five jokes is who the members different. of their family yeah, are. And it's you go, like, oh, I see. That's who you want. Yeah, it's like, here's where the he's sitcom would be. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's casting literally it. casting, and they do an impressions of the people and shit. And Horrible. Then, and then I jokes about, like, waiting for the bus. And, yeah. like, it was just like, but what's the show about? Yeah, exactly. About a guy waiting what for the get? fucking bus? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get uh, you get well-received in, in the movies. Did you ever think, uh, getting in front of the camera, that you, you'd have the ability to actually do it? I mean, because you say you didn't really think you... You'd be chosen to do that because I don't know what the way you look. You think you no? I mean, I, I was not good at it at first, honestly. Like if you go back and watch old Freaks and Geeks episodes, like I really sucked at the beginning. Like it was a real learning curve for me. Like I have mm-hmm. a hard time watching myself. Like I was not good at it when I first right, started. Yeah. I definitely got better as it as, as time went on, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and I did more and more stuff. So. Yeah, no, I never assumed. Like, I would watch myself on those Freaks and Geeks episodes and be like, what the fuck? Why, never why, why are they doing game. this? Yeah, like, <laughs> never acting again. My voice just sounded so weird and loud, and, like, it just seemed very strange. Do you, uh, do you look at message boards and criticism of yourself and shit? Because, uh, I do uh, sometimes. It's really entertaining. Well, what's funny is, like, I, like, someone's like, look at the funny people reviews. And I went online and I, like, I only read the bad ones. Like, <laughs> of course. <laughs> literally all. Now I you skim through a brilliant, <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. It's it's like Seth Rogen's a useless. Idiots. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> it is fascinating to picture a person really, like, typing hard on the keys that they hate you and Just stuff. Just mad. And, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So mad. I mean, it's really it. amazing. They yeah. get angry. People yeah. genuinely get angry at that. Well, it's the somebody. only passion anymore is hate. I mean, nobody yeah. really loves anything. No, it's, it's never true. like, this movie is wonderful. It's all like, 
Yeah, it works, except for this fucking asshole. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's all laughs> <it's just. laughs> or they're always just indifferent to it. They're always just like, meh. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> no, that's it goes, all our, our standards go from C to F. That's it. Yeah. yeah. It's either passing. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. Mm. Or yeah, just fucking piece of shit. It's not like this fucking is brilliant. Suckers. This is brilliant. I know. Yeah. You're but, getting quite the little um, uh, rat pack going with the same, you know, some, some same of the same assholes in every movie. Yeah. <laughs> some of the same assholes in every movie. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's annoying. What's funny is, like, I remember I was at, like, a test screening for Meet the Fockers, which was, like, mm-hmm. the 15 millionth movie that Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson were in together. Mm-hmm. And, like, the director after the screening was like, who's just sick of seeing these guys in movies <laughs> together? And I was like, I am. I never want to see these fucking guys together again. <laughs> and now me and Joda, this is, like, our 19th movie together. And, like, I'm sorry. We did it. We we, we fell into the trap. <laughs> yeah. if it, I mean, if it works, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, right on. Do you just Keep look at each other and go, when, when the fuck is this gravy train going to exactly. be Exactly. I know. We do all the time. And uh, it's that's why. Well, yeah, spend now, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bob Hope and uh, what's his name? Bing Crosby. Bing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was watching a movie with Charlton Heston uh, about a circus. I forget what it's oh, called. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. But it's a serious movie. It's yeah, like a yeah. serious movie about a circus. And there's a scene. <laughs> yeah, it's like a first that. mistake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there's a woman this on a high was... wire. Yeah. There's a woman on the trapeze, out. and she's doing something really serious and very scary. And they pan the audience looking up at her. And in the audience is Bob Hope and uh, Bing Crosby, really? looking up, uh, looking all scared like everybody else. And that's it. They're all, they're just in that's a shot. That's a cameo. cameo. <laughs> and it must have been like they were in the lot, just fucking around. Jump so in, they, jump in. Yeah. <laughs> that was the one where also Charlton Heston had that that old time. Uh, good body, yeah. where where it was like back a triangle. then it was good, yeah. but, yeah, but now <laughs> it like wouldn't walk. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was, he was uh, the macho guy, the hairy chest, and all, yeah. the smile with a big t- like. Women found him a sex symbol and attractive, and you see him in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> fucking sad. He looks like a guy at a hardware store. Yeah. Like, oh, really? <laughs> that guy? <laughs> yeah. We gotta ask Seth if uh, did you turn Kevin Smith on a smoking pot? Apparently Ke- I did. Because Kevin what, comes in a lot. He's kind of yeah. a friend of the show. I, that's what I've been told. He hasn't, I mean, yeah, I mean, he hadn't smoked weed in a long time. Yeah. And then we did Zach and Miri together. And yeah. I, uh, I'm i a bad influence, I guess. And I, at the end of the movie, I was just, you know, he had, like, cut the movie together almost uh, by the time we finished shooting. So I was like, let's just smoke a bunch of weed and watch watch, watch what we got. And then apparently he never stopped. He, no, no. Stop. <laughs> wow. he, he is way in now. Yeah, he's like, So really? he started smoking pot, like, in his 40s? Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's crazy. It's really quite weird. He got yeah. through adolescence yeah. and all that shit, and then... You know, well, I think he had smoked earlier on and then quit and stopped. But then any time yeah. you well, bump into no... a Canadian, yeah, you exactly. start smoking You just have to smoke again. weed. <laughs> I never he thought has no kids, was though, like right? this. He's got, he does. He's got kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. He does? He's yeah, a daughter, yeah. yeah. Daughter, right? Yeah, daughter, mm. wife, daughter. But he yeah. says, man, Seth uh, got me on this path. Mm. I'm, I'm talking to him recently. He's like, you know the best thing about now is I don't care about anything. Yeah, good. Glad I did that for you. I used to worry about things. Well, Vancouver is very... Pot heavy. There's like it a really haze is. over the city. Yeah, I mean, smoke. yeah, it's it's totally acceptable. It was really weird moving to L.A. and where it was not accepted, yeah. and I got arrested for it because oh, I was, wow. you can't really? just smoke weed everywhere here. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? But you kind of can again now because now they have prescriptions and shit. So it's kind of yeah. it's back on the table, guys. Thank God. Right wow. on. Were you pissed off at the uh, title bullshit with uh, Zach and Mary? It was like, uh, yeah, Harvey Weinstein's a real motherfucker. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> that oh, guy. Oh man. <laughs> Go, girl. Wow. Yeah, he decided to change the title the the week before the movie came out. What was the name of the movie? It was Zach and Mary Make a Porno, and then they just started advertising it as Zach and Mary. Which what does that mean? Period. That mean exactly. Anything. Like yeah. a Catherine what? Heigl movie? Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, you're in a <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> like, like a bad <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally honest mistake. I'll take that. Like I a take Catherine it. Heigl. Like some asshole <laughs> like in a some, Catherine Heigl, Heigl movie. Like a fucking dickhead in a Catherine Heigl. <laughs> some, <laughs> hapless, <laughs> some hapless piece of shit standing next to Catherine Heigl. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. I can live with that. Jesus. We're running out of time. That was a good fucking movie, though. That wasn't yeah, a Catherine Heigl movie. That was a Wait. Seth Rogen movie. It was. And then she went and made those other Hold ones. On. But that was that movie. And then then no, no. she made those. That movie made me we, cry. We, we had one problem with that movie that we discussed. What, knocked up. 
She didn't fucking go topless, which I was know. weird that she's doing those sex scenes with a bra on. Yeah, it's what weird. What the fuck was that about? You I got know, any I, inside I, scoop on that? She had a good lawyer. I don't know, <laughs> man. That's all I was. My, kids, my so. ass was out. All I could think was like, she has a better lawyer than I do. You could see my fucking sphincter in this movie and totally unnecessarily. And you don't even see her areola in the that fucking the, thing. Yeah, That was the only problem we had with the movie. That, that was, was a really was fucking good movie. Yeah, it was Thanks. sure. That was really good. We're, we're going to lose Seth in a few minutes, and we haven't even yeah. talked about funny people. I know. Okay. Now, is it a serious movie? Is it a, a funny movie? You're getting like mixed uh, signals on this one. Uh, I personally think it's funny. I mean, there's definitely serious scenes in it, but to me, it plays as a comedy. I mean, it gets laughs throughout. I would not. I don't go see serious movies personally. No. I mean, I'm the last guy to go see the fucking Changeling, you know. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's a movie I would go see. So I would say it's a comedy. Yeah, I mean, right it's, it's to me the best parts are. You know, the parts about the stand-up comics and about the kind of me and my roommates are all kind of trying to break into comedy. We're all in competition with one another, and that's shit that's, like, literally directly out of my mm -hmm. life. So, yeah. uh, to me, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a real comedy. And Adam Sandler, just a prick to work with, right? He's a real asshole. <laughs> 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 tough, tough man. Uh, yeah, what, it's, is it out yet? It comes out on tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I don't want to see it. I'm yeah. really I didn't know it was about that. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really am. Yeah, well, but the, that is interesting, though, the life of the... Because I lived with a comedian, too, when I was starting out in Boston. And uh, I lived with David Cross for a while. Oh, but really? Before, really? Yeah. But before we lived together, I lived... And also, and we were competitive. Dave and I were, you know, friends for years. Yeah. But and when we lived together, it was like a... Like a I mean, it was almost gay because I was so happy. Yeah. Because <laughs> we were such good friends. <laughs> and then we found a situation where he lost a roommate and I moved in. And then we started hating each other. Cause yeah. Because I got started making a living at comedy first, and he was a mess, a fucking foot messenger in Boston oh. in the winter, and he'd come home after a long day, and I'd still be asleep because oh. I was still standing up for him, and he hated me for that's it. Exactly hated hated me. Me. That's exactly that yeah. is literally the dynamic that's in the yeah. movie. In it, like Jason Schwartzman's character's on like a really shitty sitcom, and he just rubs the money in our face. And <laughs> Jonah's cool. like a regular at the Improv, and I can't mm -hmm. get on at the Improv, and. We all kind of fucked no, each other what, over. And Anthony yeah. Clark was the first guy that we knew that started uh, making real money. And he used to show us his checks to be an uh, asshole. It's literally, an asshole. that's a scene in the movie, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so so that makes me really want to see it. Uh, I mean, I you know, you guys will, on stage, is, it is. But you know what, though? If you pull it off, it's hilarious yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. That t it took me 25 years to become a really good comedian. And for this guy, it's like two years plus Judd Apatow directing. <laughs> <laughs> there. We have editing. It's a lot of editing. Yeah, it's awesome. If you pull it off, that's awesome. I, I, I'm very nervous for you to see it. Some of the, it's all the comics, honestly. Like, they're the, it's, it's, it, it's, it scares me. I mean, because, I mean, honestly, like, I, like, I generally, you know, don't have that much personal investment in these movies. Like, you know, if, if high school kids don't like super bad, it's like, yeah, fuck you, you know. I thought, you know to me, it was funny. Yeah. But, like, when you're really trying to make a movie about comedy and comedians, like, that's a lot of scrutiny to put yourself under. Well, it's a ballsy yeah. thing to do. I know. And I know if someone else did it, I'd be the first guy to be like, fuck you. How can you try to qualify what we do like that? Yeah, yeah, you're going to be bumping into these people, you know. Yeah, exactly. Go, hey, how yeah. was the movie? You know, I saw the movie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I liked your locker here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to uh, wrap up. Yeah, we got to wrap up. So yeah. Funny people oh, we got so we tomorrow. Get in trouble. You don't yeah. really have to promote this thing. It looks like it's going to be a hit. Promotes yeah. itself, yeah. yeah. Well, it's getting it's self promoting. Rotten Tomatoes giving a good review, so 71% yeah, so. positive. That's nice. It's I'm going to go see it. That's a nice number. Yeah, we're all going to go see Not it. Not bad. Thank Seth. you. Cool, man. Seth. Yeah, man. Thanks. Fucking Thanks cheers, gentlemen. In. Please Thank come back. Uh, yeah. I will. All right. Yeah, yeah. Next movie. Exactly. All right, we'll be back. Thank you, guys. Fucking Louis C.K. That's what I say today. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Fucking that Catherine Hagel line. Oh my god! During the Seth Rogen interview was uh, oh one, one for the ages. It's, I really uh, that was totally honest. Yeah. Because I see that poster of her. The new movie, the chick flick. Well, she's the new Sandra Bullock. Right. She's the new fucking unfunny. Fucking here she is in a comedy. How the fuck did she get a comedy? Right. We lost Dan. Like an institutional. No, I was gonna say. I, I was gonna say we lost you. I think you're already texting to your new girlfriend. No, I didn't. I'm not texting. All right. No, no. Continue. I had, I'm sorry. I, had, I just wanted you to know where that was. I had to adjust a um a setting. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> adjusting a setting. Louis, there's so many ugly broads. 
yeah. here that when one comes by the window like that, we just... No, see, that girl was office cute. <laughs> she was office cute. Office. Go up to her in the break room with your heart fluttering. Is there any way we could go out? And she says, sure. And you're like, I can't believe it. Then you get her outside the building and you go, can we go back in the building? I got, I got work to do, office. you fucking pig. Office cute. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but <laughs> the there's the poster office. you're talking about. Getting back Where to the it? oh yeah, look at that. Oh, and... ha ha! Hi, you Golan. fucking assholes. Yeah. I, I've I've been going off on the these ugly truth. Covers. Nothing these makes video me video covers yeah. or posters for months now. I can't yeah. take the stark white background, yeah. the the girl with the the uh, ha, ha, yeah. and the guy with the uh, smug yeah. kind of. And there's so many of these. But, no. but see, the guy has the heart over his crotch, oh, and she has see. it near her brain because, see, we This is what we're trying to say is that, yeah. men, you got to shake your finger at a man. Yeah. He's a mess. Yeah. Shut up, phone. <laughs> say a command. And then you know what happens? I love these movies where it's the girl and the guy, and they're thrust together through some circumstance. Mm -hmm. And, um, boy, they hate each other. Oh, my God. Oh. They can't spend a minute with each oh. other without arguing. Oh. No, like fucking George Clooney and what's her stupid, stupid, stupid face? Yes. They're, yes. And they're in a cab, and they're, oh, I, I can't stand her. I can't stand him. I wonder if they're going to fuck each other in their stupid cunts later. There's another one. <laughs> Gee, there's another one. No I, I reservations. Back to back. And then their backs a, then are touching and they're looking at each other with a smirk. That's how they all are. Don't you just love that? That's men and women. Then you got to live with them. and with, with, in, in. <laughs> There's a moment where, where they, uh, it's midway through the movie, where it's like, uh-oh, I think Wait they're going to hook up. I think they're yeah. going on I here. Think, oh, no, monkey wrench thrown in the works. Uh, oh, and they were so close to actually getting together. But now they hate each other more than ever. But they're starting to realize. There is another one. So much back to common. back. Pretty back woman. to back. White back. Does Hollywood fucking have any sense of originality? Oh, or do it. they just do the same thing over and over and over again? No, and when you see movies like that, I just see the executives over at their video monitor during the takes. And she's like crossing her eyes and falling down. <laughs> and the executives are like, she's funny. She's really funny. That's see, funny. not only nerdy, ugly people are funny. Pretty people are too. Like that's like that, the big yeah, code yeah. crack. Yeah. Is that they want desperately want like when you're oh. in high school, when you're in high school, either you're a, jo a fucking dumb jock that gets to fuck the vacant cunt blonde <laughs> <laughs> or you're the fucking cr clever kind of gnarly looking but clever dude who fucking gets into her pussy through her brain. Right. You're, it's one or the other. But the thing in Hollywood is that they're all even the executives are good-looking people. The executives are all popular, good-looking people, mm -hmm. and they desperately want to find... It's like Muslims looking for a blonde guy that'll go on an airplane with a bomb. They'll never get it. They'll just like never we, get it. That's the ideal person. <laughs> the most they could get is, like, giving that Mohammed Adda guy, like, a haircut, and he's got this awkward smile. But today he would never get on now. No, of, no, no. They, but they're trying to get a good-looking woman who's fucking funny. But she, why would she be? She didn't have to be. Didn't she didn't have, have to be. Anything she said, people would laugh at. It's not funny. No, not in the least. But they would laugh. But that, or good, same thing with the guys. He's fucking, you know, George Clooney. Yeah. It, it, him and Brad Pitt, when they try to do comedy, and they just talk like this, and they do it really fast, and they uh -oh. just and they make little jokes, and they're not funny. Like any of the Oceans movies. Oh, uh, horrible. Like, what the fuck is that? I, I don't understand. Here's 11 people who fucking <laughs> suck. That's what those movies are called. <laughs> here's a, now title. here's 12 people who <laughs> fucking stink. Title. Yes. What, what was the last uh, good movie you saw, though? But the origin, by the way, the original Ocean movies were well, like well, fucking fantastic. Don Rickles and yeah. Dean Martin yeah, and yeah. these weird weirdos but who were fucking funny as really hell. Funny guys. Sammy Davis Jr. was not popular in high school. No. Got the shit kicked out of him right. by large white people. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know he got his eye literally kicked out. But the, yeah, yeah, literally. Well, then was, you could have you know yeah, like you said, George Clooney and, and stuff, just mm -hmm. who never had to no. work at it. A Day in his fucking yeah, life. Pay people to say they're funny. What was, yeah. what was the last uh, good movie you saw? Or funny movie? Even. Uh, what's going on shit. in Hollywood obviously drives you nuts. Yeah, no, I don't really go. I don't even give anything a chance anymore. You don't even try. I never really movies. go. Oh. Well, I go. I rent crazies. I just, 
Oh my God! That oh my Those God! The Again, passed. the back to back, dude. It's, and it's look, formula. she's got a hold on. He's he's got the smile on, like I'm my own guy. I'll fuck whatever I want, and she's holding it by the strap. That's going, what you think. I got you. Ugh. P you. P fucking you. P God fucking. Damn it. Yeah. No, I'll tell you <laughs> the best movie I've seen recently I was hear this. a French movie called um, The Pianist, and or The Piano Teacher. Piano teacher. Piano oh. teacher. Piano teacher. There's this woman. Doesn't and sound she's, very good, Louis. No, from it the, doesn't sound very French good. French and the title. I'm going. Wow. All right. There's. Where's I'm gonna going to ruin it for you so that it's care. worth Subtitles? talking about. Yeah. It's you French have to movie. Read? Yes. The pianist. Oh, fuck that reading. Shit. French reading. woman, and she's a piano teacher at like a high end uh, academy in Paris. And you think you're just watching a movie about a woman who's a really tough teacher, and she's very cruel to students that aren't good enough. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. And she's very weirdly mannered, and she has her tea. You know, one of these just, like, really strict, unsmiling French woman. And then you're watching this movie. It's like 20 minutes. You're like, well, this is an interesting world I'm getting to learn about. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> and then she yeah. goes into uh, the mall, and she walks around. You're just watching her walk around the mall. And then she goes into this video store, and you realize it's an adult video store. Oh, And you're like, what's she doing in here? She's proper. Why? She goes into a booth, like a private booth, puts coins in. And starts watching like a f ass fuck, black <laughs> yeah. dick, white ass Are ass, you and you and you come around behind her and you see this in the movie. You see the the full on sex, and then she there's a little bin, you know, tissue bin. She reaches in and gets a cummy tissue and smells it while she watches. Get the fuck the porn. And you're like, what kind fantastic. of a movie is this? this? What kind of a movie is? The thing is that it's so beautifully shot. You're like, this is just a <laughs> a nice artsy. This film. is an artsy nice, movie right. about nice artists. Glow right. on the cum tissue. Yeah, with a lot of little <laughs> yeah. piano, you know. And then all of a sudden, she's smelling a tissue while she's watching a guy fuck a girl in the ass. And she's got the same bitchy look on her face as when she's, like, with the metronome. That is amazing. And then she, uh, some young pianist guy who she hates because she thinks he's a hack. Like, he plays very flowery and everybody thinks he's great. Yeah. But she's got, she's hot for him. And so she sees him being nice to a young girl pianist. So then you, so you just see that. You see her observing him being nice to this young girl pianist who's about to do a recital, a student of hers. And then you see her in the cloakroom. You don't know why you're watching this. The whole movie's like this. Like, why am I watching her walk around a cloakroom? She finds a, clo uh, a coat that she was looking for, and then she gets a glass out of the bar, and she crushes it like, you know, like at a, a wedding, a Jewish wedding. Puts it in yeah. a napkin and crushes it and puts crushed glass in the girl's coat pockets. Oh, then the girl puts her hand and just her fingers are destroyed, and she can't do the piano recital. What? This woman is this psychotic, <laughs> wow. horny, crazy bitch. People saying the movie was brilliant but very slow. I guess that would be the walking around part. Yeah, if you're That's a fucking so, uh, American yeah. retard that watches Mel Gibson <laughs> movies, it's slow. If you have, if you fucking take a breath, Fuck, can you just stop describe? watching Hulk Hogan's fucking show. You might enjoy life. God, Something damn. different. No, because right? I, I knew, I knew that right when Louis said like. So I'm like, this is nice. I'm getting to know this world. Yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah, you, you can't just yeah. learn that you know in what? a two second clip. It's, yeah, it, it takes, takes a while. A while. But yep. I go to the artsy yeah. theater, so I totally get that. You're like, yeah. all right, I'm learning about something right. I would have yeah. never learned about. Right. And then she's and then smelling sudden, a cum rag. Yeah, well, <laughs> then it gets to something you know all about. You know? It's <laughs> sick. It's a sick, sick, twisted now movie. Now I want to see the movie. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen, honestly. Wow. And I see really? a lot of movies. Yeah. I'm going to go fucking good. see that today. That makes good. my like my this favorite movies. What's your favorite movie? Like, I feel like an asshole for them being my favorite movie. Police movies, Academy 3? It's not that. <laughs> no, 2 was good. But... Uh, <laughs> No, I like, um, well, Sling Blade, I, I always thought was really, really mm -hmm. good. I thought Billy Bob Thornton what was, about a recent was really movie, good. Though? And then um, re uh, recently, recent. I really liked uh, The Prestige. I liked that movie. Fuck, I still With haven't the, seen uh, that, that goddamn movie. Good. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty a good. weird little twist there in, in the whole thing. And, uh, that was Christian pretty well Bale done. was good in that one. Christian Bale's good. Yeah, yeah. So th that those I liked. Yeah, there's no real, you know, stupid. You astronaut farmer was fucking killer. Oh, horrible. That was great. And I look at something like Sling Blade mm -hmm. and written, directed, produced everything by Billy Bob Thornton. Mm -hmm. And you go, this guy was one more of those away from being brilliant. Yep. Like one more, if you had one more Sling Blade in him. Even a half a Sling Blade. It, he was, he was going to be Billy Bob Thornton fucking, you know, the amazing. Oh, yeah. 
You're, director, you're so writer, right. actor. And then he goes and does, you know, Armageddon and fucking yeah. astronaut farmer. Yeah. And, and, Continued all the way to Mr. Woodcock. Mr. Woodcock yeah. and stuff. And you're like, what the fuck happened to Carl and that great dialogue and fucking... Uh, uh, it, it was it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm. Doyle, Doyle. Uh, what do you think? Um... Doyle Hargrave was great in that. Like just that, and then you think like, okay, Doyle in that movie, um, in Sling Blade, he wrote that. Yeah, he fucking like like Billy Bob. You don't think he wrote his lines too, and wrote the kids' fucking lines and the mother's lines? Mm-hmm. It's like how the fuck you do that? Because they were such great characters, all of them, and and then you know. Mr. Woodcock and fucking... Well, uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone made Rocky. He wrote Rocky, which is one of the greatest movies ever, ever made. Yeah. And then he proceeded to just shit in the mouth of America for the next 30 years. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, It's the office of Cobretti. Call him Cobra. Oh, oh, fuck. Tango and Cash. Yeah. (laughs) Was he in Tango and Cash? No, that's... Isn't that that the other one? Tom Hanks? No, no, that was... uh, No, that was... uh, yeah, it was still, uh, Stallone, oh. Stallone and, and Kurt Russell. And Kurt Russell. Yeah, gonna, right. No, you were thinking the one with the with dog. You're thinking of Turner and Hooch. Turner and Hooch. Turner and Hooch. 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 That, was, that was Tom Hanks. Uh, that's good. You, you know, you get him confused. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. You got confused there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Came out like Worlds the same year. <laughs> I think like three months apart yeah. or something. <laughs> hey, changing gears, what do you think of uh, Obama having the beer sit down? We're oh, going to all, all be talking about this tonight on TV. Oh yeah, I think that was kind of a mess <laughs> that he got into by saying anything about a local thing. I mean, hey, that cop that was so intelligent. I mean, oh, that's yeah, what yeah, fucked yeah. him over. It really did. If the cop hadn't said anything, it would have just gone away. But that yeah. cop made just said, hey, I, and he even said, I support the president. I support the president. He goes, hey. uh, it's a <laughs> local thing, and you shouldn't get, you, you don't know everything that happened. Every time something, it just shows, every time something happens when nobody was there, just a private moment between two people, yeah. then everyone's wrong. Absolutely right. everyone's yes. wrong. No one should say a fucking thing. How do you preface You don't preface know, you weren't it? there. And then nobody, nobody knows what the woman really said when she called them. Everything gets Here's distorted saying. because people bring their own thing. So yeah. when you start with something and then you become the president saying something, well, the president as definitive as that better. was stupid... You should know better. But it's because, see, then then nobody knows what it's like to be Barack Obama and Louis Gates Jr. If you if you if you're black, like here's the thing with Louis Gates Jr. The thing that white people have to keep in mind because we have this different we have different timelines in our heads. <laughs> like white white people often say, I've heard so many white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> It was 130 years ago. It was really recent. People say that. Hey, that was, well, we started 400 years ago. <laughs> Slavery began. We kind of mopped up. Yeah, we, got a, yeah. we got a couple centuries in. And no, also no the, hit the lights until right. about 130. 130 years ago is when it really stopped. And also it didn't stop. And then things have been just awesome for black people since. The, like that's the, <laughs> the last bad thing to happen to any black person was slavery. 400 years ago. That's what we think. <laughs> and since then, we've just been showering them with gifts yeah. <laughs> yes. since then. It was a. It ended officially 130 years ago. Really mm-hmm. continued for another 80, <laughs> and then give or take. The thing to remember is that if a black guy has or a black woman has a little gray hair at the temples, they lived in an America where they were legally barred from using certain fucking bathrooms, <laughs> where the where the country didn't let them use the fucking bathroom. Keep your big, black, smelly <laughs> cock out of this room, you fucking black bastard. Like, that was the official American law. Right. Was you can't pee anywhere you want, fucking coon. Yeah. That's what it was like. And so you take that. So anybody that age remembers that and has ha- had to live and go, okay, thank you for now letting me do what I should have always been able to do. <laughs> or you were raised by somebody. If anybody younger, oh, a young, God, a, a black person in their 30s or younger was raised by somebody who lived in an America like that. Right. So how do you fucking Louis Gates Jr.? He's the president of fucking Harvard. And he sees a cop looking at him twice he's like what do i got to do what the fuck do i got to do so you're if you're the president of Barack Obama you got Louis Gates Jr calling you on the phone and telling you and just screaming at you and you're like oh boy now that's say guys Barack's age 
are raised again. They're their parents, so for better or worse. Which one though, the white one or the black one? Well, I, I mean, every black person is. Bro- I mean, imagine how what Brock gets from black people, oh, all than him. Okay, now that you're in there, you got to You're gonna apologize for you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Take down the Washington Monument. He's like, look, I can't take down <laughs> the Washington Monument. black. Listen, I can't take it down. Dude. Paint the White House black. I can't. <laughs> it's really look, bad. small moves. You know, fuck you. I told you if you get in there, you're painting you know, the White House Uncle black. Tom yes, I did. Look. The White House black. Ugh. You know yeah. when he got the call from Louis Gates Jr., he rubbed his temples and went, oh, God. I okay. gotta say, I gotta and say I got the something. Speech coming up here, I gotta say something. I gotta say, you know, uh, say something. In front and then of he prefaces his family. Saying, right. I wasn't yeah. there. Yes, yeah. but but now let me talk like I was. Yes. Uh, and get into all kinds of trouble. You exactly. So I think he made a mistake by saying something, but it's a, yeah. it's an understandable mistake on some level. What a and it turns out the cop those was, was that Stalker five... Patty on Maury just now. Yeah. Are they still running that? Yeah. That, yeah, that thing that, is that like episode's running today. If anybody again, wants to watch it. Yeah. that thing has been wow. rerun probably. Probably ten times. She oh. talks about how she. Uh, anyway. God bless you. Uh, All right. I love, anyway, back to but, the but, president. But, <laughs> yeah. but what a great angle that I, I haven't heard from anyone yet about Obama and the shit he has to hear from. people. What he hears from the, from older that black we generation. We never get to hear. No, we have no idea but what it kind of pressure. You gotta imagine is. those phone calls are pretty fucking yeah. brutal. Like you gotta say something. Yeah, you gotta do this for all of us. Yeah. I can't. No, you know, and part of having a black president now it is a major difference. Is yeah. that you're gonna hear a perspective you're not used to hearing. That's all, and it's. It's not always going to be right. It's going to be flawed from a black perspective. But it's just where we have never, We've never been, seen, oh, never you know, been in that right. situation. The only, here's the only problem. I can wrap it up with what with, with, with people th- believe I am. People mm. believe I'm just a horrific racist. I don't think you are. Uh, thank you, Lou. Yeah. I'm uh, not that I think horrific. you're a delightful I'm very, racist. I'm very good. <laughs> uh, uh, now, here's the thing. I cannot stand... The disproportionate amount of crime and violence in the black uh, community amongst black, young black men. Mm -hmm. The disproportionate amount of violence, sheer, brutal fucking violence. And I'm not even talking just against, you know, white folk. Uh, Mm -hmm. Black on black is amazing. It is amazing the willingness and, and quickness at which they will kill each other over nothing. And that, to me, separates. It's too separate. I can't relate to it. I don't know other people that did can relate to it. Did you ever live in a black? It. Did you ever live in like a black neighborhood? I yes, I lived in Central Islip. I lived on Hawthorne Avenue. If you know where that is. But were you in a, I, like a white enclave, nope, or were you in a black neighborhood? Nope. I was in a black neighborhood with a few white kids that were petrified for their lives on a daily basis going to school. There was this kid. I, I can't. Keith Green, his name was, and he would come up to me and go, "Give me fifty cent. Give me fifty cent every day." And, and and I'd have to give him 50 cent. Or, <laughs> or it was like, when? You're getting whacked. Fuck it, it You have to give him 50, 50 cent. cent. And I was yeah, like, it had to be 50. It literally was like, wasn't 50. What? It was 50. Yeah, yeah and, and Danny puts a picture of 50 up. <laughs> Finally, there's a 50. Uh, there's got to be a 50 cent piece <laughs> at some 50 point. Cent, give me 50 cent. And he'd look down at me like, like give me 50 cent. Hmm. Like with it, and, and I'd be petrified. Sure. I was so scared. That's all he wanted was 50 cents. Just 50 cents. You're cent. like, I got a dollar. He's like, no, 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 50. It's though, dude. So yeah, 50 cents. With inflation, that's you know, it was probably huge. 10 bucks. Was that lot. was everything. That was lunch. That was, you know, mm. hanging out at candy after school. Mm. You know, everything. All that 50 cents was huge. All that for 50 cents. Back in the day. God damn. Back in the day. But, like, I, so, and I, I don't like the excuse of, Coke of, and of Snickers that whole thing. Yeah. Like, like the, the whole, all right, you, you're brought up in a black neighborhood. It's impoverished. It's this. It's that. You know. Well, I don't think what? it's that simple. I think. Well, I mean, I, I lived in Roxbury for a while in Massachusetts. Yes, in a pleasant area. Very nice. Yes. On in the Parker Street project. I lived on oh. Parker Street next door to the Parker Street projects. Wow. I, my car was stolen while I was fucking a girl. Like I was literally, <laughs> I was fucking a girl in my apartment, and I heard glass like that sound of car glass breaking. That safety glass. <laughs> Like outside the window, and I'm like, "Fucking uh, okay, that's right outside the window." That's my. Car. And then I hear the car starting. I'm like, "That's my fucking car." <laughs> oh, jeez. And I literally, I run out uh, on the street and watch the car. I'm looking at the taillights of my car, yeah. and someone else is in it. And I go back and I call nine one one. Somebody stole my car. I can still hear it going down the Parker Street Hill. 
And the guy goes, you got to come in and fill out a yeah, report. It's, no, and it's, I go, when? Well, no, fucking send somebody here. Right. Chase goes, no, it. you have to come down to the precinct and fill out paperwork. And it's because I lived on the Parker Street projects, cops would not come they there. Wouldn't come there. Why they would wouldn't they? come there. Yeah. They go. They spent when I grew up in Newton, Massachusetts. There's fucking cops circling our house, <laughs> like the president is yes. having dinner there. Wonderful. Constant police surveillance. Isn't that great? Of rich neighborhoods. No, and and Parker Street, my neighbors were lovely people who lived behind bars. It's like Ross Perot said in one of the debates. These people live in a. They put themselves in prison, in order to protect themselves because cops won't go to these places in the city. Won't. Won't fucking clean the streets Why because they don't give a shit about those people. Yeah, because no, they, it's not so much that they don't give if, a shit about those people. They fuck themselves by going in those neighborhoods. Cops put their lives and their careers. And- it's not the specific police. It's what it's what resources are allocated to what places and rich neighborhoods get more resources allocated to them than poor neighborhoods and because that's where the tax base is the tax are. is also paying for that protection if, yes it, it, it's really poor on poor violence and black people have a have a poor look to them because a lot of them are poor and they have been historically so it's it is a cycle i think though i think it's a so cycle. there's nobody that can if you neglect t- a neighborhood everybody will people. people people rob and kill their neighbors that's what people do <laughs> Yeah. They don't go to other areas. Oh no, no, I realize very rarely it does happen. But yeah, but I'm saying yes. That I, that's why so, I was saying so black on black you... crime is amazing. I watch when you watch uh, you ever watch First Forty Eight where they got to take the first forty eight hours of a murder and investigate it, and in the end, I love those It shows. is always a, a, on this show. Not only like cops where you know you get to see some white trailers park trash right. beating each other's uh, senseless. Uh, this is all. Black guys killing right. other black guys. Right. The victim's black. The witnesses are black. The the, the but, perp is black. Why do you care about black and black crime, though? I no. I'm saying that that is what put makes this divide. Like I can't. I've been fucking poor. I lived in my car. I I've been I- impoverished for many years. I wasn't able to afford food. I dug change out of like couch cushions. I lived at, on friends' Who's couches couch until they. But Your friends couching you yeah, yeah. dig the change yeah, out. Yeah, dig the change out. Try to buy like <laughs> Hydrox cookies. I couldn't even get Oreos. Wow. Yeah, just to that. So I've been like in that situation, but I understand. I'm not black. I have lived uh, uh, the whole legacy of that. With, no, no, with, but I don't think it's just. I just don't think it's that but simple. I have no idea of that lifestyle where mm. life is so fucking worthless, and 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 violence is so prevalent where the just the want. For violence, like if, if I got in a fight with somebody and I punched them and they fell down, I would not then stomp their head mm. until they're dead or in a coma in the hospital or some shit like that. I, I, but that seems to be what's going on. Well, let me just make can I just make a distinction, though, please. As far as where this conversation came from. Yeah. Louis Gates Jr. being arrested and getting cranky about it. Oh, right. <laughs> and, the, and that coming from his personal history being a painful one in America, understandably, yeah. mm-hmm. and rising above it, by the way, and become not, he's not, he didn't respond to it by being a black on black violentor. No, he, he responded to it by elevating himself self, and right. running the greatest, black studies, the program, greatest universe. By the way. Which, which, by the way, is revisionist history a lot Jesus. of times, and it's a an he's the president of Harvard ingrained um, at he least did it. he looked he trust of white people, if not a genuine dislike of white people. Well, sure, no again and again again. That fifty cent really uh, Ro- yeah, oh, that's that really, really did yeah. See, and and up. by the way, this is interesting because then here's this other one <laughs> is your. Definitely colored, so to speak, <laughs> by colored. the fellow who asked you for 50 cent. That yes. was a fear that was put into you that you'll never forget. And I totally Could and I, res- I respect and understand that. Yeah, that's going to mean that you're going to see these all these stories differently. When you hear about when you see uh, Barack Obama saying they acted stupidly, it just is a beeline in a, a synopsis firing path in your brain mm-hmm. that goes right to that guy asking you for fifty cent anytime, if, 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 and that's gonna that's that's deeply ingrained in you. But and that's if fifty cent was the last time I ever saw when Louis Gates bad. Jr. sees a cop with his hand on on the gun, on the butt of the gun, saying, yeah. uh, "Sir, I need you to step away from your own fucking house." <laughs> house. <laughs> 
he just remembers <laughs> he remembers whites only fucking signs and all that stuff and it drives him crazy and so that's just everybody brings their own thing to it i think i mean that's I, I I personally think that America is working remarkably well, considering all that, it's considering all the wreckage I, of the history. I it actually works pretty well. There is no the it's, fact that look, the people in fucking Iowa voted for Barack Obama. That means that, you know we're whether or not he ends up being a great president. I think it's, we're we're it's we're coming out on top of this shit, but it's complicated. No. The, it's just a messy the other family. Day, let, let me, I, I disagree. My, fa- my father came and stayed with me for for a week. Well, two. It felt like a week. It was two days. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my dad. I have such a fucked up history with my dad. Um, but I got through it. I got through these two days. I was like, hey, you know what? We, we made can, it. We can do this. Like he's seventy two now. I don't know how long he's got left. I'm not sure. You know what? How he's making it? You know he's had a tough life. Yeah. And uh, and so I got through the two days. But there were moments during those two days where he just did certain had said little things that I was I almost fucking hit him in the face. Oh, I almost holy. Shit. I almost had to call nine one one and go. Hi, listen. I just killed my dad, and I need someone to come just over here. Take care of my kids for I, me. Yeah. Please. No. <laughs> You know, it's, I like his take on that whole. No, it's, I, but it's one. It's one I, but I like it. It's and I'm not it's saying different. that there's. An, here's the thing. I say it's understandable that certain older black people have an edge on them because yeah. of history. But and then you take it to uh, that it's an excuse for blo- for for violence and murder. Well, but it's not. But I'm not thinking of that. And I, and I do. But but you're. And again, it's just really fascinating that that's your perspective because of what's going no, on with no, you in your life. It's not just. My perspective on that, it, 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 it's kind of simplistic because I gave you one example of, of yeah. something that happened. and then it's the only I, one that matters. I, but, but, it, but it isn't. <laughs> the because only one. It's the one first, you went right if that First was, moment with a black man. If that was the only knowledge I'd had of that, uh, it would have been a forgotten memory. But it's reinforced constantly by just this, this unbelievably yeah, you know, like when you outlandish buy... Uh, uh, unbalance in violent crime. And Although who's perpetrating informed, it. all of it has been informed by the first experience you had. And I'm not saying this is a flaw. This but is how so, everybody. So is. I'm watching uh, uh, a black man you're collecting, pummeling uh, an old white woman and for her money on on a video surveillance camera. Yep. And it's because of Fifty Cent that you're, I look at that. I should look at him like a gentleman. No, and of then course, what the fuck of am course I, not. What but does Fifty Cent have to do with you? Started I a collect. That? You started a collection that began with Fifty Cent. <laughs> but I can't. I'm not collecting. I'm being given this. Right. People are are throwing this at me as I see from from uh, uh, surveillance videos. You're, you're being wait, 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 you're stories. you're being thrown a lot. You're being thrown. By yes. the way, Louis Gates Jr. I think from from what I know, and I was there. <laughs> I'm just going to keep adding to <laughs> the mess. You were there. I'm just going to keep just adding to the fucking. Mess. I was there. I am Louis Gates Jr. <laughs> I knew it. And when I saw that cop, no, he acted uh, wrongly. No matter what, look, I got pulled over by a cop recently, and I was with my kids. This cop was a dick. Okay. And he was a young man. That's the thing. The, uh, it's the other thing that's like every everything in your life adds to what's happening in your moment. The cop in that in this story was a young man. When you get older and you get pulled over by a 22-year-old, who likes having a gun? It just bothers you. It just bothers you. A person See, it like, shouldn't. No, it should. It shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. It is it absolutely bo- right. It bothers all of us, though. That's, I, that's when the I got point pulled I over by when I got pulled over by this cop recently, I had my kids in the car, and he doesn't. I know he doesn't have kids, and I don't think you know. There's certain people where they have a kid radar, like they just have a sense of there's kids here. Yeah. That changes how you act, and some people are like, no, they don't. They. And then later they'll have kids and look back and go, oh, geez, I, uh, you know. She have identification on her? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He She's comes free. up to my fucking car. Two cops. I passed a guy. A guy was drifting into the left turn lane close to an intersection. You don't have to make it sound good so, for me, Louis. So I assume <laughs> I that he's going to make a left, so I move to the right of him, pass yeah. him on the right. And yeah. then he changes his mind and goes into a gas station. Oh, shit. On the right. Mm-hmm. So I get pulled over by two state troopers. Like, they needed two fucking cars. And they come to each side, and they both have their fucking hands. You know, there's the hand on the gun thing is important, but some guys do it, you know, civilly, and some guys. These guys looked fucking hostile, and my kids looked daytime scared. or nighttime? Daytime, okay. middle of the day, could, fucking could more they, nine in the morning. Could they see you? While yeah, I'm very white. I'm driving an Infinity, and it doesn't have <laughs> spinning rims. There's no loud music. 
I, so my, so I so am, kids are scared. I'm a balding white man. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And my kids are like, but daddy, you're white. <laughs> so <laughs> the cop comes over and he goes, uh, you, you, you know, you know, you know what you did. And I go, uh, well, I'm not sure, honestly. You pass somebody on the right. And, and and I go, oh, well, I thought he was going ah, 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 like he did. Ah, ah, ah. He had his blinker on. And I go, you know what, sir? I didn't see the blinker, but I, I assume you're probably right. I probably just had exercised some bad judgment. Like, I'm just trying to get to the fucking ticket. Right. Get to the point. What's with that inspection sticker? How come the hole isn't punched? I don't know. I what? didn't. I went to a gas station and got an. Ins- yeah, you're supposed to have the hole punched. I go, I'm was I supposed to punch it? My actual. <laughs> It's being a it dick. just he's and, yeah and he, and he goes uh, he reaches in the and rips my he goes this is coming with me and rips my inspection sticker Are you off, shitting me? which is putting me now in like I got to drive around without a sticker till I get I, one. That guy's a fucking asshole. He's he's yeah. being an asshole. Right. But I still recognize that my role is respect the law, get past the get the paperwork from him. Yes, sir. Get the paperwork. And it looks like you got a headlight fight, out, boy. Fight, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I guess I shouldn't have had that headlight out, officer. I'm collecting information. I'm getting my paperwork. I'm going to go to court, and I'm going to fight it, and I won't pay for these tickets. Yeah, absolutely. It's, but I'm driving around meanwhile. i got to worry about getting pulled over all the time your... because nobody has inspection stations upstate because the economy is shit. Yeah. And nobody, you go to a gas station, and go, we don't do inspections. Off anymore. Inspections. Rift it off. What a prick. didn't wait for me to explain anything to him no. or whatever. Just fucking. Wow, that's that's just a cock. But still, it, my role is to act respectful to police, and I'm sure yeah. that. So I think that Lewis Gates acted. It's wrong to just start yelling. You don't just don't get to do that. Even if you yeah. are in your own house, even if you're being arrested for doing nothing, even if you're being totally no, he was right. It's not fair. <laughs> but no, no, but. <laughs> Uh, but I understand it. That's all. I understand. I I, I empathize with. He was being with extremely the belligerent to an officer who was, um, from what they say, and from certain radio transmissions. <laughs> yeah. That was being uh, as polite as possible to this gentleman, answering a call to a burglary in progress. He gets there, uh, and then he's accused of being a racist. And then uh, the professor starts talking about his mama. And shit like that. Yeah, but here's the other thing, too, though. It's like there's so many parts of this that are like part of the – this is such a I, – I think these kinds of things are always good. I think this is a positive thing because yeah. it's a conversation the whole country has. And talking about this kind of thing See, this is, is what pure I was positive. Say, I think I was, it's all good. I was going to say this before. I don't think it is because I think it shows just how – Close to the surface, all this shit is bubbling. Of course, and how it is. it's just this fine veneer of spackle yeah, but talking is better than but it can't over hurt to talk. About talking it. is better than bubbling, and I think that it's important for people to know what it's like to be a guy like Louis Gates and what it's like to be like this cop and and go into the morass of racism every time you answer any kind of a call. Hmm. Must be very frustrating. But I always also think about Americans, fucking entitled, rich white gun owning Americans who just hey. this castle. Fucking house is castle? your yes. Well, you're expli- you're yes. Wow, you are completely Anthony. yes. Your house life. is your castle. That's right. Anyone walks in, and steps on the lawn, you can Kablam! shoot them in the fucking mouth. Exactly. Kablamo. So in that context, the guy coming into your house and saying anything untoward, you're like, "Fuck you, you fucking racist, fucking faggot cop." Get you fuck your mother in the ass, you little faggot racist. Get off my fucking property. I'm the president of Harvard, you fucking little Irish Bo- South Boston prick. F- go shove it in your mother's cunt. I don't care if you fucking brought that a basketball player back to life. Fuck eh. you. I don't I'm fucking Lewis Gate. I'm calling Brock right now. He's on my fucking speed dial, you motherfucker. I get it. I get that. Yeah. I think if you were black, that's what you would say to a cop if he came on your property. Or you'd just shoot him. No, I would uh, I would be uh, very cordial. Mm. I would be the um, pull myself up by my bootstraps kind of a guy. And, uh, <laughs> that's and, what, and but succeed. that's what he was. He's like, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, and I still nah, I, I still get more. fucking arrested for for having a jammed door. It's from Louis <laughs> Gates' junior's point of view. It's a complete outrage. I get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What <laughs> what's, what's up? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm being, ch- I'm being chastised. I don't know who it is. Uh, who's that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm being chastised. <laughs> Wait, is that Snoop? That's Snoop. <laughs> I don't know. It's a wire. 
What's up? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it is. Snoop, what's up? (laughs) I know Snoop. (laughs) Yeah, from The Wire. From The Wire. (laughs) Is that kid in The Wire, really? It might be a girl. Yeah. Snoop. Louis C.K. How are you? What's up? How's it going? I don't know your real name. I know. I know you, Snoop. Snoop. How you Sit down. I was scared. You were. I thought you were doing gang signs or something. Can you hear us? Because we're having a race conversation. So it's just funny that we walked over there. We were talking about Barack fucking Gates, Louis Gates Jr. I was trying to describe to him what Louis Gates Jr. felt like. And of course. Louis is the guy to describe. Uh, look me. at me, I know. What, uh, what <laughs> I know. I've been through it. Like when the cops come to his house. I have walked the Louis Gates Jr. walk. <laughs> I know just what it's like. No, I don't know. Wow. Your hair looks good, by the way. Thanks, yeah. buddy. I say Thanks. that because in the wire, how's my hair look? Yeah. <laughs> Played one of the the greatest characters ever on the wire, yeah, Snoop. Man. Holy yeah. shit! You were yeah. a, you were a scary motherfucker on that show. <laughs> Holy shit! It Jimmy's was TV. Gonna, it was I understand, scripts, man. I had to do what I was paid for, man. Mm-hmm. You know, Jimmy's gonna be so bummed he's not Jimmy's here today. Gonna be Jimmy so is good. good. It's like his What's favorite up, show, Jimmy? right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. God damn, Jimmy's filming doing, a movie man? in Boston. But um, he'll be back tomorrow. What? Music. I just had an interview over there. Music, television, reality show. Ray, come up. You know, Which one? What are you doing? Um, just trying to help kids get on the right track. You know, just like Ti Road to Redemption. You know, I'm gonna switch it up in my own flavor. So going all over the world, just helping kids. You know, wow. out the ghetto. Go ahead. What's your, what, what, where are you from, man? What's that accent? Huh? Where are you from? Baltimore. Wow, man. Yeah. It's different than Sal. <laughs> yeah. My yeah, yeah, yeah. accent. No, Baltimore is the like South. This. Baltimore is the <laughs> South. Like it's, Rail, it's the start Rail. of the South. Yeah, it's just where it starts. <laughs> yeah. Sal sure don't sound like that. No. no. And you, were, you were discovered on the streets, right? Yeah, I'm um, in a nightclub. Um, Michael K. Williams played a character, Omar. Sure. And yeah. He Omar. told me come on through. I came on through, and here I am. <laughs> Make a long story short. Just you know? like that. Mm. His yeah. whole life changed because yeah. Omar was in the same place. Yeah, that was God, though, man. Sure enough. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. I was on the road to... Woo! <laughs> the road to woo! <laughs> <laughs> woo is just woo. south of uh, Baltimore, I <laughs> the think. The road to woo. <laughs> yeah, you were, uh, you were uh, in the game and shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was my past life, you know, selling drugs, trying to make a life for myself, you know, and just put money in my pocket. You know, I tried to do the right thing. You know, I was incarcerated. Tried to do the right thing when How I many came years? home. Mm. Six and a half years. Holy so you went to jail and you tried to change when you came home, yeah, you're saying? Yeah, and, and, and they just, just downplayed me, man. You know mm. what I mean? It, it was just crazy. It just fired me. Every three, I mean, all three they jobs, you? they fired me. Or oh, fired you. Yeah. Okay. I had three jobs. They fired me. I said, man, fuck this, man. I'm <laughs> going on a block. And I'm going to get it in, man. And you went back to crime? Hustling. Yeah. Mm. God. How old were you then? Yeah, man. How old were you then? What, when I came home? Yeah, when you came home, how old were you? 21. And then you had three jobs. Yeah. Went back. And that's how long were those three for jobs? Ford and all, like making four bumpers, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Making $16 hours a hour. Yeah, I was yeah. just coming home. I was living a life. What did they fire you for? Because of my background, my criminal background, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, they found out or some shit? Yeah, but I said it on my job, um, on my application. Like, I mean, you know how they got the yeah, question, yeah, have you supposed- ever been incarcerated? Mm-hmm. I put yes, explain, and an in interview, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they still hide me, but two weeks later, they fired me. I say, damn, at least I got one paycheck. <laughs> 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 what were the other? You worked for Ford. What were the other two jobs? Um, what the um, book company and um, stacking boxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God damn, man. Yeah. 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 When did you get the tats in, in prison? No, no, I waited no, till I came home. I wanted to try catching good. up. Yeah. With it they enjoy. look too good to be uh, prison tats. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, good, good thing you steered clear <laughs> of the rusty things. needle and Jesus Christ. Ink, those, yeah. things, those things always look like shit. <laughs> 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 Who is that? Who's Arnold? That's my uncle, man. Your uncle? Yeah. He passed away while I was locked up. Mm-hmm. You know? That was like, you know, when you think, well, you don't know. Y'all don't know. No. When you're incarcerated, you know, all your friends and like half of your family just. You know, disappear on you, and mm-hmm. it's the man that he stayed with you. Yeah, exactly. You know, visits, phone calls, money mm-hmm. orders, all mm-hmm. that. You know, so he with me to my dying day. You know, 
Yeah, you know, must have meant a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, gonna yeah. get a tad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah a he's tad. a guy I kind of knew once. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tattoo of a guy. I, he gave I, me I talk know. about that in Grace After Midnight. I got mm-hmm. a book out called Grace After Midnight. It's in Barnes and Nobles, Amazon.com. It's in reprint right now. You know what I mean? Right on. And I'm writing my second one. And some kid is stacking that book in a box somewhere (laughs) (laughs) in Baltimore, (laughs) where he used to work. God damn, we don't even have any time left, right? Yeah, just have me back, man. I just ran out of time. Say hello, man. Snoop, 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 say hello, man. We got to come back when Jimmy's here. Yes, Jimmy will shit his pants. Oh my God, (laughs) loves the wire. I'm gonna put on all black and run it, run down on him, man. (laughs) 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 I'll see y'all later, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Snoop. Okay, man. Very cool. See you. It's Jimmy's. I guess. Oh, oh man. man. I signed God. this yesterday for Jim, man. Oh, you already signed it? one for Jimmy? Yeah. I know. Now I'm going to sign it again for him. Sign it again. Yeah, yeah, you never know. Because I With did Jimmy. K. Slay last night. Jimmy be like, I'll take two. <laughs> Winking, blinking. <laughs> what a psychopath he is. <laughs> uh, that's cool, man. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, you, you were, well, you got scared because like, she was fuck? giving you all sorts of signs outside no, the window. Like, man, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Right, nice nice Take it easy. <laughs> this is a good show, you guys, today. Yeah. Louis, you fucking, I love There's listening shit to going Louis on. CK. He's oh. got a way of looking at oh, things. Yeah. Uh, did, did I say he? Who said he? Who said all he? of us no, said he? Was I the only one? I know it's not a he. I said demand a dude. But I didn't mean like man or dude. That's a man. Oh, no, I wasn't going to say miss. I, I knew that no, too, that was, but I think I might have slipped too. That's a that's a girl. Okay. She was, she was <laughs> nice. She was a nice girl. Yeah. I think she, was, she was a nice guy. Officially, nice girl. Who yeah. said who said he instead of she? I think I you got did. one out. Huh? Louis did too. What did I say? <laughs> to him? Yeah. To, her. <laughs> <laughs> to that? <laughs> God damn. No, uh, I was just saying. That, dude. Wait, but how did you I say he? Dude. <laughs> Louis said he. What, but how did, wait, I was what, right there too. Oh. Yeah, you said he. Too. That's why at the end I said well, she, she was given gang signs, oh, to Anthony. Shit. Holy shit, we are assholes. That, wait, so she got yeah, out of jail at twenty one. Twenty one went went got had three wait, wait, jobs. Wait, but before that, she was in for six and a half years. So she went in at fourteen. Young, 14 yeah, and yeah. a half. Young. Damn. What'd she do? Well, from what I was told, she, she was convicted of attempted murder. Oh, wow. <laughs> shit. At, four, at 14. It's just attempted. I can't believe Anthony called her a him. I did not. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah, man. All right. Yeah, hey, dude. Wow. I called girls, dude. Yeah, just yeah. like that intern when she was leaving, right? I'll no. See you later, dude. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Later, okay. Man. I didn't. You're right, Danny. <laughs> Strange. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was funny timing. The whole that whole it was certainly just was after the yeah. whole conversation. Let's we meet had. a black on a black violent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet one now. <laughs> Let's meet one of now. questionable yeah. sexuality. So, you ever ask anybody for fifty, 50 cents fifty cents in, in, a, in a not so nice way? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, Attempt, probably, probably did. Will. Attempted Perhaps murder. In that. Interesting. Attempted murder. Attempted right murder. There, no, this Louis. is why. This is right why. Uh, like uh, Vietnam vets that were in prison meet their. They're torturers, and everybody cries. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you tor- I didn't know you had a. Oh, oh now nice. I can see. Yeah. Your mom wasn't nice to you. Three well, it's jobs fine then. And you were fired. You tried to go straight, and that's why you're slinging a yeah. rock back on the street again. Yeah. And then her right. manager at Ford would be like, "That's not what fucking happened." <laughs> <laughs> fuck her. Let me tell you. I gave her a shot. Why do you think I hired her? The we fuck? fucking we never lost so many bumpers in a week <laughs> in my life. <laughs> he fucking bumper, bumpers over each shoulder. Yeah. God knows. Fuck. You want to buy a bumper? Yeah. I'll sell you a bumper. She'll come back. Yeah. You didn't see the wire, really. You... No, I'm not. I up never to that saw point. it. Oh my god. Not up to that point. Fucking intimate. She. Wow. Barely acting though, because they got it right off the streets of Baltimore. Yeah. Every. You know, that's the thing. It's like every time when you boil the crazy, fucked up America down to the individual, it just changes how you look at it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every person has their different weird story it's just never yeah, it's really never is. simple like when we did the virus tour remember when carlos was on the show we had carlos on and there was all this anticipation of carlos being on the show because of carlos being you know the fucking notorious thief and 
Rogan and all that shit that oh, happened. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so Carlos was coming on the tour, and I remember on the, I was looking on the whack bag on your 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 the group, message group board, and yeah. they're all saying let's all. There was all these planned protests, like let's not. Can we? They were actually somebody was trying to see if they could organize just ev- the entire stadium just walking out <laughs> silently. Let me organize an entire <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. stadium. <laughs> and so, so what was going to happen? So and oh, and God and bless your, him for your, trying. God bless him for trying. Though. Yeah, exactly. And then the somebody has a picture, and I think. I think it was Lindsay, your uh, your your at the time fiance. I don't know if you guys are you're married now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So she had this picture of all the comedians at the curtain, like little boys at Christmas trying to peek. <laughs> Every comedian I'm trying to look through the curtain while, while Carlos is on the stage. Oh wow, that's <laughs> yeah, it's a great and, it's a great shot. Yeah, yeah. and Carlos, something. nobody knew what was going to happen, and he went on. The first show was Detroit. I remember all this very clearly. And he went Detroit went on to a rain of uh, a, sh- a light shower of booze. And he just fucking murdered, yeah, yeah. killed, not that. only stamped out the booze, but did then another 40 minutes and, killed, and yeah. just destroyed. Same thing in New Jersey. But he fucking destroyed. But so Carlos and I flew together to L.A. after the show, and we just happened to sit right next to each other. And I don't know Carlos that well, but I know him. And uh, so I direct, asked him very directly about all that shit, about all the stealing and stuff. And he and I talked for a whole flight about it. And it, you know, I now have a very complicated view. I'm not sure what the fuck happened, and it's very. It's not that he like weaseled his way. It's just that his view of it is complicated. It's mm-hmm. a na- he has a narrative. He has a story about what happened with all that stealing stuff and with Rogan and with Cosby and with everybody. I like just and it's not just knowing. really interesting. I like not knowing and the it's individual com- it's story. It's filthy and it's complicated and it's not so easy to point. If you just listen to a person, I look at the big picture. Yeah, you can't point at a person and go, "You're that. just a fucking dirty thief." <laughs> fucking Joe Rogan's awesome. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck Dane Cook. You're all blah blah blah. He- it's just too easy you if you meet a person talk for five minutes you go oh geez i can't really say this i gotta anymore. i gotta accept sure that story thing. too because he was feeling that energy that the crowd was giving him and everyone going oh my god carl's is on this tour and we just went like you said went yeah. the rogan thing and all that when he finished that set it was a relief of energy yes he threw that I, I i think he does do the microphone throwing it down thing. yeah he does the thing where he jacks off the mic and spits over the top right, so it right. looks like it's coming and then he throws it on the but, floor and it was beautiful but it was it, there was a little it's more like a symphony to, there was a little more to it than <laughs> oh yeah that. he really like said well there you go mother yeah exactly and as a comedian i was so impressed we all were yeah that he overcame that and just by being fucking good and uh, and on the flight home i said that what was that like that was ballsy, and he goes, mm-hmm. "I was terrified." <laughs> and to learn to find out adrenaline. that he was really scared, it wasn't because he was like, "Fuck everybody." He was like, "This is the only way through this because I might get booed and, it, and it's gonna suck." <laughs> he was t- scared. There's two people in the back going, "Come on, our silent pro, let's all leave." We promised we were gonna. <laughs> Asshole. There's a stranger outside the uh, the studio. Another kind of looks like Ron from Ron and Fez, but I'm not oh, really sure. Really. Is oh, Ronnie out there? Holy shit, look at the time. Ronnie, are you uh, out there? I, I got to the apologize. Corner. Yeah, we're running into we Ronnie first time. We better get oh, out yeah. of here. Sorry I was there, hoping uh, you would Mr. come Bennington. in and say hi, but you, uh, you ran off. Look at that. One. All right, Louis C.K. is going to be at Caroline's. Uh, the shows are sold out, though. No crossover. Maybe yeah, Sunday tickets. Sunday there might be tickets. Right. Don't know. Two shows Sunday. And what else are you Ooh. promoting? I'm I'm coming to Canada for a huge Canada tour. You guys, every time I play Canada, somebody comes up to me about this show. So I should say, Dude. I'm playing like fucking Halifax. A lot of those are sold out now. But I'm playing Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, all these uh, cities. In, in I, September and October, I'm playing heavy Canada. I want to jump on a plane and see Louis C.K. in Canada. Canada is an that awesome place rule. to do stand-up. Maybe, maybe so. Vancouver. Yeah, in Toronto. I'm doing two shows in Toronto. We added a show because it got sold out Nice in October. I don't know the dates, though. I don't know nothing. Okay. A lot of activity outside the studio. Oh, we better get out of here. All right. Louis, it was a pleasure, man. Oh, there he is. Thank you. Ronnie. Sorry, Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie. Sorry, Ronnie. Ron. We kind of. Louis fucking CK <laughs> is here. Oh, Ronnie. So Ronnie B starts late. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Ronnie. I would love, though, to come in at, like, 6 and someone else is doing a show and you're just like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, just I sit wish around you guys for would keep on going. Oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> I was really just planning on starting the show with a nap anyway. <laughs> That's fucking plenty. Hey, uh, I don't know if you guys want to hang around today, but uh, I think hey. Skinner Boys Skinner Boys are going to be rocking. Yeah? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. For real? And I'm ho- Yeah. Wow. Down Ooh. for an uh, artist confidential. Yeah. Real hopes they do Freebird. 
I don't know wow. whether they're going to do it or not. I, this uh, might pause. be the one show they did. We're not really sure yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, because every show you're there, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're going to do it or not. You really have to shout it out oh. for them to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got to free, free bird. you got to get your lighters up. Wow, did that sound gay? That's- <laughs> does that sound, sound <laughs> yeah, a little gay? The way he said that? Just a little bit. Yeah. I usually now only see Fez... Walking past the garage now. It's a quick little high by the garage. I, I miss you guys. Here's what you don't understand. Before the show, because Fez hates radio so much, <laughs> he has to keep walking around the fucking block. I but take a know. lap. I take a relaxation oh. lap. And I know the bad days because he goes around and around and around. <laughs> and you just see him mumbling himself like, I know I belong in this business. <laughs> I know I do. I know I can do this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, was that just just last night people were complaining like, what happens? How come you guys don't uh, do, you're not on the Ron and Fez show anymore? So I go, it's the logistics of the, this fucking building. I uh, talked to Ope about this. I think we ought to do a live show mm-hmm. in the fall. Yeah, a little Afro show. A little Afro I, show. I would have no problem with that, my friend. In the same way that we did the uh, uh, Dave's wedding. Yeah. Yes. You guys plan nothing because you're fucking lazy and exactly. sloppy. Exactly. And we just watch and you guys can watch <laughs> all the planning. It, ho- you hone it to you a fine do. sheen, <laughs> right. and everything comes off without a hitch. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> we just come and freeload. Oh, boy, do we. <laughs> well, Louis going, I can't believe I'm still here. I can't believe I'm still here. <laughs> after 11. I'm Emmy nominated. I'm Emmy nominated. Uh, Emmy I'm- nominated. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're gonna lose him soon. We know. We know how oh, this works. I think it's gonna be the. Yeah, I think it's gonna. By the way, be the other Emmys, the creative arts ones, which means it won't be on television. I'm oh, being, like oh, it's on the cusp. Yeah, they might oh, not. I'm gonna oh, get it. Like, it'll, it'll be presented to me by like Jamie Farr. And <laughs> <laughs> it'll just be fucking in he's front of some good, people. Yeah, yeah, he's he's good. Good. Yeah. He's and a good. ceremony earlier this week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not where that happens. It is. Let's get out of here so these guys. Yeah, let them do their show. Are you guys staying? Is I that what you're saying? I can listen to the whole thing which is good. Dude, we, yeah. have, we, we avoid that side of the news until you guys come on. We avoid that side of the floor. We we sneak out this way, and, oh, yeah. and mm. we're we're out. out. It is. It's no uh, meetings for us. It's like Mission Impossible. We drop down on cables <laughs> through the elevator. Look at Louie making believe he's got a <laughs> fake phone call. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hollywood. Yes, <laughs> Louis just grabbed yes. his phone and ran out like like Hollywood's calling a three <laughs> picture deal. He wants for L C K. Just to think, a year ago I was a soda jerk, <laughs> <laughs> and now look at me. The <laughs> Mad Cat Manhattan Weekend. <laughs> he thinks we haven't seen that move before. I know. Fake yeah, I phone know. call. Look at him. Gets me out of the room immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, My grandmother. <laughs> right. I'll be right there, guys. I gotta go. Yeah, we're not gonna... oh, she fell and, <laughs> fell and uh, got cancer or something. <laughs> it's awful. And you can't be the guy that questions it. Right. Right. Oh, hold right. on. The reception's better on the other side of this door. <laughs> yeah, what? hold on. Uh, during our meetings, I always tell Fez, when I cough... Wait 30 seconds and start crying. <laughs> and we get, seriously, we've had two bladder meetings, and Watley's cried during both of them. Perfect. You yeah. have to cuddle you? We Does get, bladder try to no. hold your head? No. no. We, he's not the touchy. Not. He's not Wiki. No, no he's not the touchy feeling. <laughs> Wiki would you. be like, Fez! <laughs> 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 yeah, that side of the building's a little uh, more serious. Uh, yeah, literally. I wanna, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh, yeah. It's just no XM. I don't even try to say serious XM anymore. We, it's like, uh, yeah, I work for serious. You see one XM on the badges or anything that you got? No, no, nothing, no, no, no. It's getting smaller. You can see it. It's it's getting smaller. They're finally purging. How's the fake phone call? Well, it was good. It was a- <laughs> one of the Mets game. I just fuck. Uh, uh, still there. haven't been to City Field. We Lighting? thought we Pitching? thought it was Jack Warner. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Warner. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. So a lot of fans could do their uh, program. What's on the show today, there, Ronnie? Uh, a, lot, a lot of great stuff. Of, uh, <laughs> yeah. stuff uh, uh, thinking about. Oh, hang on. We have a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> you're like us. You get the. Call back. You're like us. You get the sheet and go. Oh, this is what we're talking about <laughs> yeah. today. All right. Dave's ideas. <laughs> <laughs> More. Dave's ideas. I get a bit. Don't you hate it when you're eating shit and you accidentally come? I think everyone does that, Dave. It doesn't work that way. Holy the disgusting one yeah. percent. Yeah. Save that for the Sam and Dave show. Yeah. When you guys argue over what uh, toy you're playing with. <laughs> we officially fired Sam, though. It's he's, fu- uh, he's fucking useless. It was a, it really it is. was a hot girl that came walking by the window yeah. we, we immediately hired her and fired sam mm. 
Yeah. We had to make room I thought for that him. was Sam. No. Yeah. Oh, she he, he normally because... confused for hot girl. Will, will she be wearing mouseketeer ears, too? Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could divvy those up and really have some good mouseketeer ears. Why don't you guys, yeah. don't you guys fucking end them every show with M-I-C. <laughs> See you real soon, kids. See you, cunt. <laughs> uh, Ronnie's on to something oh, well. with a musketeer. Mm. It's it's very close it's now. One. Yeah, it's no. not two. Oh, that makes it straight. Don't act like yeah. that doesn't look stupid. <laughs> don't act like. Don't be outraged. I mean, go ahead and walk around like that, but don't be like, what? <laughs> maybe, maybe, crazy. That's the craziest. Maybe it would look good if you were on a Harley going ninety miles an hour. Yeah, it makes no sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is really dumb. I mean, you know it. You have uh, to know it, right? Dumb. You're being ironic with that, right? Yeah, yeah. Sam's going to defend himself. That's not yeah. how a person walks Sam, around. I'm just saying it's not a musketeer necessarily. Oh Jesus! And you should like, see... it matters what's stupid about it. <laughs> you should see how cute. <laughs> like it <laughs> matters what specifically is shitty about that haircut. Punch up a picture of his girl. You see how cute I mean, it looks girl retarded, girl. not assholeish. And he's got a cute girlfriend and everything. It's a character look. No, it's like there's comedians that cut their hair a certain way, and then that's their opening oh, line, right, right. and they keep. Cut and they go, oh, look at me. Well, you cut it like that. Go fucking brush it out and get a, a, a fucking axe. Fucking hack. Oh, look at that. Look at her. Okay. That's his girlfriend. Well, Seriously? God, that, that annoys me. <coughs> because he got, he got stupid fucking bubble heads. <laughs> You That's guys your asked girlfriend. Me to grow yeah. my hair out. Yeah, she's we mine told starting tomorrow. Soulful eyes. <laughs> some some girls like lips. to be with guys that won't fuck them. It's <laughs> 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 so weird. She's got a weird quirk. That's <laughs> the case That's in great. this situation. Yeah, you should no? defend yourself on that a little no. bit. You know. She sees a guy with hair like that and goes, "He won't have the balls to rape me." <laughs> <laughs> She well, wants him to cut. He'll right? buy me things and never have to fuck him. That's not what's no, going on. She at wants all. you to cut I know, the it's hair. So right? unfair. She you I'm to just, cut it? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. She what, preferred it much what, shorter. What woman? Would I think don't America know, prefers keep it much shorter. <laughs> this is yeah. from Afro Wars, which ended a year and a half ago. Yep. Dave never admitted defeat. Dave's had two kids since that. Well, he's insane. Has started. <laughs> he's clinically insane. Yeah, right. Well, that's true too. Danny's got stupid hair too. What? What? <laughs> Ronnie, no, Danny doesn't Why have stupid hair. Why is it so hair. hard to talk Danny looks like Dave. a... Danny has a hat. Uh, is everyone talking? <laughs> what, what happened? Well, I try to have a little like uh, a little small talk with Dave, yeah. you know, between the two shows, and he panics and runs yeah. away. What's yeah. that about? He doesn't like you. Right. Oh. At, least got, I, at least I know now. He's got an opie thing. He, <laughs> he puts candy in his asshole and then eats it. So well, when a guy does puts candy in his asshole and then eats it, <laughs> it right. when you see him in the hallway, you don't go, well, I wonder why. Oh, right? yeah, does he have a problem with problem. me? Figured, why is he yeah. so non-social? I figured yeah, I would try it? to get to know him finally. God, what did I do we to upset him. that we fucking used filthy so weirdo? Years, I figured, you know what, let's, let's uh, get to know each other. Yeah. Sure. Holy shit, he runs away. Yeah. And Sam's going to kill himself for the show soon, which is awesome. I'm not. I've been asked to kill myself. He just hasn't figured out which way He's yet. He's still with Sam. I'm not going to. That's a big thing for oh, the hi, show. Dave. Oh, God. There's Dave. Oh, oh, hi, get Dave. out. Just because you heard your name. Dave? Oh, hi, Dave. What's the problem, man? <laughs> I love you. That's All why right, it's hard for Dave. me to talk to you. Uncomfortable right, Dave, guy this, stuff. Yeah, see. All right, I'm leaving now. Oh, Brad. Fuck that, Sam. Yeah, but you did. Come on. We're on good terms now. You don't want to be part of the overacting game. That's so good. Mr. Todd. Yeah. Dude, uh, Louis is turning bright red. You're I'm your Louis biggest fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the room. East side day. Day. Just I'm going to go to the Mets game, guys. All right. All right. All right. See you later. He's not even making a phone call. No, no he's way just to go. leaving. Way to go. Leaving. What are we talking about? Now, fucking Opie's leaving. Oh, great. Now, Opie's going. Where are you going? Opie's going. Where are you going? No. Come on. Oh, no. Is there any beer? Oh, no. Opie, don't go. Yeah, I got to go. Oh, Jesus. Now, Anthony, go. Oh, I'm sorry. He just unclipped his baby oh, laptop. Dave, oh, no. Anthony, come back here. Oh, no. oh, come it. back here. You know what? Well, Fuck this. I'm not on, Roddy. Fuck this. Come on, Rod, you stay. You everything. Stay. He's Afro. It's great. Stay. It's the best. Fuck. Fuck this. All right. No, oh, I no, hate no, this all now. I can't stay here. I hate all this Fez. now. No, it's turned Fez. awful. Horrible. Fez. I'm leaving too, Dave. Looks like it's finally special delivery. Afternoons. You've said everyone, Dave. I'm leaving. Actually, I, I got to do the replay too. All right, guys. I guess I'll be here by myself. Uh, well, I've never had such a large audience before. 
All right. Well, I guess everyone's gone, so I don't know if we're going to hit buttons or I'm going to keep talking. But I. All right. All right. Well, I think. Oh, stretch it out. Oh boy. All right. Well, 202 audience and and, and serious and 197. We have lots of co- stuff coming up on the Ron Fez show. I think I think we should hit the buttons and begin the Ron Fez show is what I think we should do. That's just a personal radio standpoint. I think we should no, I'm not going to stretch. I'm leaving too now. Goodbye. Okay.